<coughs> ok. Please refrain. Please refrain. We are those men. <laughs> What's up, boys? What's up? Y'all ain't no men. Y'all niggas ain't no men. Y'all them boys, man. What's going on, fellas? I see y'all out here. I see the chat out here. Niggas are wildin' out. It's the end of the year, boy. I know you about to be on your bullshit. New year, new me, new year, new me, <laughs> Yo, boys out of here, what's going on, my niggas? Are y'all good? What the fuck are y'all said? Man, anyways, yo, I'm glad to see everybody's happy, healthy, feeling good off the holiday season. Niggas got their gifts, they got their family, everybody's in a good state of mind. Me too. I had a great holiday, and guess what? It ain't finished, as you all know. New Year's Eve is right around the corner. You know what that means, right? Time to make another promise that you're gonna break to yourself all over again. It's just rinse and repeat, same old, same old, same old bullshit. <laughs> there ain't nothing new here. Dracon men, my ass, take this shit off. We, we ain't no men, nigga. Niggas ain't no men. Take this shit off. Dracon who? We always gonna be the boys. <laughs> The only thing changing here is my dick size name. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. I hope not. Jesus Christ. Unless it goes bigger, then I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, um, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for tuning in tonight with your boy. I, I didn't do anything to do a holiday season. No streams, no videos, no nothing. Guess why? Because I was spending that time like the way you should have been, with loved ones. Hopefully, you all did the same. Um, but hey, we can catch up on it. I knew for New Year's, that's not as much of a family-themed holiday. It could be, but that's more of a turn-up holiday. They always say, you want to end the new year in a way that you... Wait, no. Ending. You want to end the old year in a way that you want the new year to go on. So some people do it when they're balls deep inside of someone's ass or pussy, whichever one you choose. No judgment here. Um, some people spend it with family in front of uh, a TV watching the fireworks and the New Year's ball drop. Some people spend that time just, uh, well, on stream, I guess. <laughs> I think if we're gonna be, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be streaming when New Year's happens, but I think it would be kind of cool just to have a little bit of a, you know, <laughs> just to have a little bit of a, oh, a pre-stream. It's the 29th. New Year's right there, boy. We are about to see 2018. Dude, I remember when 2017 started. We got donations, by the way. Thank you very much, donators. I just, um, I need a, <laughs> what the fuck? Why y'all sending me this shit? My Twitter. Why y'all sending me this on Twitter? That's porn. Listen, I hope I don't get no... What the fuck? Hold on a second. Block that shit. Block that shit. Really? Then again, I should have probably known. Me having this shit on the side of the screen like that. Niggas are sending porn on my Twitter. And it's updating automatically. So niggas just saw a picture of... That's the same fucking picture I was looking for before when I was drilling the fuck out of Red Rock. <laughs> Who the hell drew that? I want to know. Because that was a damn good picture. But it's not suitable for the stream. Nigga, YouTube's already bad enough. We got motherfuckers out here copyright claiming shit. Motherfucking... <sighs> It's hard out here, boy. Don't make it more difficult for me. Don't make. I'm gonna move this over here. Fuck all that. I try to have it on the side, man. Make things convenient. I can't do that now. Um, but you know what? We're gonna keep it moving and hope to God that I don't get a community guidelines for that. The context wasn't even sensual. I was not like, I, okay, maybe I have. Okay, I have my fucking pants off, nigga. <laughs> I have my pants off. <laughs> a minute. I can't get in trouble though. I've been doing this shit for years, nigga. This ain't nothing new. I'm in my house. I'm, I can be comfortable if I want to. Hey, man. What are you telling me? You niggas stay in your pants when you're chilling in the crib? Hell no, you don't. Um, thank you all for tuning in, though, man. Today, what are we going to do? I have no fucking clue. I never do. Nigga, there's no plan. There's no format. There's no strategy. There's no approach. There's no, there's no time. There's no nothing. No schedule. No nothing. I don't give a flying fuck, and neither should you. We're going to see exactly what the hell goes down. All I know is that in 48 hours, it's about to be a new year. It's about to be a new nigga out here. Who knows? This might be the last time you see my bitch ass. You never know. Dude, I know I'm going to be partying my ass off for New Year's. There's a lot of shit going down. A lot of places, a lot of faces that your boy needs to be at. Who knows? I might be. Like, there's a lot of parties going on for New Year's, right? So I got invited to three of those. 
and I don't know how I'm gonna split my time up between them all. I mean, it's a limited amount of time you gotta work with in the night, right? From 10 p.m. until like maybe 4 a.m. is when the party scene happens. How the fuck am I going to jump from three parties between each other? One of the parties is one that that nigga Ice Poseidon is holding in New York City. He rented out a fucking hotel or something, so he's trying to have a goddamn shindig. Bust, like, dude busted the wallet wide open, spent mad bread. So I might be chilling with that nigga for New Year's for a little bit. And then I got invited to a party by one of my old high school friends. And that nigga wants us to go wild. Like every time I party with him, I would all, I don't want to be able to party with him for a year. And you know, this is me saying this shit. I'm an animal. I'm a monster. And yet this nigga wears me out. I sound suspect. Pause. <laughs> I mean, hey, you get what I'm saying, right? Dude, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a, we, we got to make sure, dude, if you're not doing the same, I implore you to reconsider. Send out 2017 with a motherfucking kick. Send that bitch out of here. Dog, although I don't even know. What's the general consensus? Was this a good year or a bad year? I don't know. I would say it's a better year than 2016. Way too much fucking drama and bullshit that happened. But, um, yo, we got donations too. Hold on, let me read y'all out real quick. I'm about, hold on, hold on a second. I didn't even, I, I gotta introduce myself. Hold on, before we continue, wait a minute. Boys are in here who don't know what's going on. I gotta introduce you. My name is motherfucking... Desmond, Etika, Iceman, whatever the hell you want to call me, Minecraft guy, Subway sandwich guy, ha ha memes, 24-7, yeah, whatever the hell, you may want to call me, it don't matter, I don't care what you call me, call me stupid nigger with a flat top for all I care, call me motherfucking monkey or like, I don't give a fuck nigga. that doesn't even matter, what's my name got to do with this shit, the point is, we are all here for the same reason, to have a damn good time, and to leave this bitch more lit than we were when we walked inside. This is not a philosophy that just lives upon this stream only. This is something that I walk with me when I go out to the grocery store, when I go to a motherfucking meetup with friends, when I go to visit my mom on the weekend. I take that shit with me everywhere that I go. And I highly advise you to reconsider and do the same if you're in here because that's the policy, that's the standard, that's the rules, that's the format. Okay? <sighs> Anyways, we have donations in here. Right, let me give a minute to give respect and thank yous to these motherfuckers who are out here supporting the channel, going heavy into the wallets, digging deep inside of those damn pockets, pulling out whatever shekels they can and tossing them in my eyeballs like on some stripper shit. I could be a stripper with all the money that you niggas throw at me. Thank you for enabling me to have the opportunity to become a stripper on the internet. I appreciate that shit. I'm about to open up a Patreon, send motherfucking nudes out here. <laughs> Yo, sign up nigga, you get mad shots. <laughs> Okay. You niggas wanna see some of this? <laughs> you niggas wanna see some of this? Nigga fuck. Nigga fuck up. It's a miracle that my channel hasn't been shut down up until now. I don't know what gods have been watching over me, but somehow, some way, I'm still able to do what I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck you. Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, Chief68 says, crazy how much? Almost 2018! Don't say that to me, dog. I seem like a little over excitable. I know. Oh, here he goes again. Uh, the the, the nigger the, uh, the nigger is having a chimp out. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I, I get it. But you have to understand where the energy is right now. I'm feeling some kind of way. The year's about to end. We have, you know, I always fuck up. New year comes and it comes to writing out stuff on paper or filling out forms or applications. I always fuck up. Oh, 2017. Uh, no, it's 2018. Dude. Over here in New York City, right now as we speak, it is like negative 10 degrees or some crazy shit. I don't know what's going on. Hold on a second. By the way, we need to have a universal symbol. Considering that there was, at one point, some kind of porn, even though there was no context of sexuality either on the actual content that you're looking at. But in case the channel goes down, now, I'm, this is serious here. No jokes, no memes, no over-exaggeration, no hype beast, no fucking hot air, no gas. If this channel, <laughs> if the stream goes down and it says, oh, the video has been removed for violating YouTube policy or some shit like that, I'm going to need you to give me a, a special symbol. The, the circle with the red slash in it, give me that because that way I'll know it's over. I need to call on or pray to whatever gods I have on here <laughs> to get my motherfucking channel back. This is all I got, nigga. A nigga, they, <laughs> a nigga ain't finished college, nigga. <laughs> That's all I got. You can't take this from me, baby. <laughs> no, what am I going to do? Uh, anyways, um, Shakuma11 saying, when are you going to watch more BNHA? What the fuck is that? What, what the fuck is that? I have no idea, man. Wait, hold on. These donations aren't even showing up here. Wait a minute. What's going on with my alerts? 
I don't even see donations right now. Hold on a second. These boys have been donating the whole time and nobody sees shit. Stop posting it. I already know the stream's good. Y'all niggas can't get away with all that trolling shit. I thought I taught you a lesson last time. You think you're slick with all that bullshit. Niggas ain't slick, bro. I can see you coming from a mile away. I don't mean that in an intimate way. Stop with all the bullshit, man. Are we here to troll each other? Are we here to have a good time, talk about hot topics, current events, things that are relevant, stuff that's crazy, outrageous, completely unbelievable, changing the game up? And my friends, we already have a topic like that starting off the new year. It's the end of November. No, <laughs> December. And we have heartbreaking news. I'm telling you, this one's going to break your damn heart. Cut the motherfucking music. We don't need any tunes right now. Thank you very much to the donators. VS, wait, VX9. We also had, um, whoa, well, oh my, a lot of motherfuckers are throwing money at me tonight. Thank you, guys. We had Shakuma11, Original Kevin, Cypher, that boy Rios, Ferret Arcade, Hyper Ambi. I'm not even reading the amounts right now. I'm just seeing the guys who donated. Um, got a Green HX and Tenacious Gamer and uh, a couple people beforehand. I'll, I'll read you guys in a second. But for one moment, we have to take, we have to take some time here. This is a sad topic. Let me see who the fuck can guess the horrible, heartbreaking topic that I'm about to discuss right here. It's equivalent to us losing a soldier, losing a Joy-Con man, <laughs> even though we ain't no men, but I mean, you, it's sad. Who can guess? Swatting is not a, oh, man, hold on a second. Y'all starting to make me feel some kind of way. There's a lot of fucked up shit that happened. There was an apartment fire in the Bronx yesterday that killed like 12 people in that bitch. This is already getting a little bit too somber for me. But yep, a lot of you guys guessed it. You said it. Motherfucking topic of discussion. The first one, the most heartbreaking one, is that our Lord and Savior, the, 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 the motherfucking Messiah of, of raw content on this platform for years, is taking his permanent leave. Filthy Frank, you all know Papa Franco. I ain't got to tell you about this nigga, is leaving YouTube. For good. And it's not even on some, oh, demonetization fucked his shit up. No. He made a little note here. It wasn't on his Joji account. But I guess he wanted everyone to see, like, who follows um, Filthy Fram and Pink all the other niggas. He wants them all to see that this is over. Dude, we got to read this. This shit's kind of heartbreaking. And you know what? It's surprising because I've seen a lot of people that I didn't expect commenting on this and giving their condolences, um, saying their rest in peace and, you know, giving him props for all the years of entertaining content for free that he's been giving us. It's amazing. Um, let's take a look at what he said here. You might have seen this already, but let's read through it together. Although previously mentioned through Billboard. Now, I didn't even know. I, I don't follow him that heavy through the music game, but... I believe an official statement for, uh, as to why I'm done with comedy is owed to my former fan base. And it's true, you know, when niggas were wondering for a while, what the hell happened to this nigga? Where the hell did he go? Thank you for the donations, by the way, guys. I'll, I'll get to those in a second. But he says right here, I'm grateful for those fans. And while it genuinely pains me to express this, I do hope the reasons below may provide some insight into this decision. Unfortunately, I no longer enjoy producing that content. And you see the way he even talks about it. He's not saying, oh, filthy Frank or whatever. No, it's straight up like he's kind of taking a step back from the whole thing. And can you really be mad at him for that? I mean, it's such extreme content in general. I mean, it's probably not even due to the nature of it. It's just not in him anymore. You know, you get older, you mature, things change. You, you wind up being a different person than you were when you first originally started something. And I definitely know the feeling of that stuff. He says several serious health concerns, including but not limited to throat tissue damage. And this one is kind of obvious because we all know Papa Franco with the, oh, wait, what the fuck is going on here? Why the hell is this thing acting up on me? But well, we all know what Papa Franco, man, like one of one of one of the <laughs> staples is that fucking voice that he has. I did not realize that doing that. I, I'm sure he doesn't pull off the fucking filthy Frank persona all the time, but I guess the times that he does do content with it, it must really rip into his shit because he's saying he has severe tissue damage in the throat. My nigga, that can lead to some crazy shit, including throat cancer. I think it's a little bit too risky. Maybe he went to the doctors and they were like, you know what? Here's what it's looking like right now. And it gets even worse because there's more. He says there's neurological conditions that he prefers not getting into. God damn. Not only was Filthy Frank a plague upon YouTube and the internet itself, but even to Joji, his person, his body, his health was degraded intensely by Filthy Frank. Can you, can you agree with me that that is appalling, insane, heartbreaking, and also admirable, respectable, dedication, motherfucking 
And he, this dude was so devoted to this filthy Frank persona that even when he was so, he had medical issues probably for way before he said anything about it in this post that he he put this post up um eight hours ago, eight hours ago, and you know he had these problems for years, man. But that just shows you right there, man. When you're passionate about something and you love it, man, it don't matter if it takes away from you, you're gonna do it. But everyone has a physical limit. We're all human at the end of the day, and unfortunately. Joji has reached his with the filthy Frank persona. That is heartbreaking as hell. But man, you send him out like a motherfucking hero. You put an F in the chat for him, but you give him a hand. That is a soldier's farewell. I, never have I seen a YouTuber who is so loved leave and have just such a, a, a motherfucking... The people are just cheering him. Everyone, the entire internet, giving him props. Because it's not like it's motherfucking... It's not equivalent to some face of YouTube leaving the platform or whatever in a bad way thanks to drama. No. He left the platform in the same way that he entered it. Screaming, covered in shit, and doing the most foul things you can think of. That's how he came in. That's how he left. And you gotta give him respect for that. Filthy Frank, you will be a legend for the entirety of the internet's days. Never will there be a motherfucking point in time where people do not know who Filthy Frank is. You have created a motherfucking dynasty and it will outlive you, your children, and your children's children. And you should be proud as fuck of that. Congratulations, Joji. Sleep well, my man. Filthy Frank, it's been one hell of a ride. 2017 is when it comes to an end. But you know what that means, right? Obviously leaves a hole for something else to come in and fill. There will never be another Filthy Frank, but with his leaving the platform, maybe there could be other people to fill in the void. Let's not look at the past and be sad about it, but let's look at the future and remain optimistic as to what can be. Guys, can I get, don't just give me an F. Can I get a hand clap in the chat for Filthy Frank, Joji, for providing some of the best entertainment to ever grace the internet? Fuck that, the world. You'll always have respect over here, man. And I'm not talking by some dick-sucking fan standard. I'm talking about a real nigga standard. We are all talking about that shit. Real nigga standard. You got it, Frank. And hey, even though you probably don't give a fuck, you are always going to be one of the Joy-Con boys. Or should I say Joy-Con men? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, God damn it, man. There's no one else that I feel deserves a greater hand of applause leaving this platform than that beautiful man does. Filthy Frank, man. Take care, bro. It's been an amazing, what, 10 years now? Fuck, it might as well be. But then again, he'll have success in other venues that he's been engaging in. You know, his music is actually really good. <laughs> the nigga knows how to rap, dog. You gotta give him respect there. So, you know, I think he'll be fine. Probably has a bunch of money saved up anyways, <laughs> unless the adpocalypse fucking drained his pockets, which probably did happen. Um, but hey, man, I'm glad we were able to give him some respect here. You got to. He's the king of, of, I don't, the word doesn't come to mind right now, but like that kind of content, like that derivative content, he can be seen as the king of dark YouTube in a way, you know what I mean? How, how <laughs> like YouTube, well, PewDiePie used to be the face of light to <laughs> he ain't like YouTube no more. I think it's like Logan Paul now or some shit, but dark YouTube is always represented by Filthy Frank, even like, and it always will be, man. Hyper Ambi saying, did you ever see that Freddy Freaker um, 1 to 900 ad? Anyways, Hypercord is watching. I don't know either of those things you're talking about. No disrespect to the nigga. I feel like I'm about to get my ass roasted, but hey, man, if you if you if you don't don't you can't expect me to know when someone's watching. Give me more context next time. I gotta tell y'all niggas to fill in the gaps every single time when you donate, man. You gotta give me information, okay, boys. But um, all right, we gave our respect to Filthy Frank. And also, I wanted to, before we continue, I did want to showcase to you guys something that I thought was pretty cool that I figured out with my stream stuff, which actually almost got me in trouble just now, but I figured out a way to have it so Twitter automatically updates with a bunch of stuff on a regular basis. Now, donations, like I said, I'm going to be getting to you guys in a second. Donations are usually the way people donate to me, but the problem with Twitter, whenever I read them, is that you have the notification thing and it'll be like, oh, you have a million notifications ready to be read. You click the button and you get fucking swarmed. But I have a little extension now, which actually um, updates my Twitter page on the go with um, with posts that people make. So you see all these motherfucking posts. We got, look at this shit. You got somebody here who's talking about, oh, watch BTS mic drop, please, or BTS DNA. 
these these motherfucking army heads listen no disrespect to y'all boys okay i know you love them niggas and you're always going to be about them you want to promote their shit but i will not let you take over my channel <laughs> i cannot let the army win i can't i don't have any numbers compared to them god damn it this is probably a futile fight but dude, <laughs> bts will not take over this content damn it no it will remain raw it will remain unchanged and yeah, that, that's all I wanted to say, but I mean, <laughs> but yeah, so my, my Twitter now updates actively with new posts whenever they pop in, so I can always see like a scrolling thing of whatever the hell is new there, so it kind of makes things convenient. Um, if you have something to say, and you know, the donations are always the easier way because it pops up there, even though I haven't been reading them yet. Um, got a green itch says, So glad that the airport has Wi Fi on my way home. Have a great new year, Etika. Oh man. New Year is gonna be fucking nice, man. I'm glad to I'm glad to see 2017 come to an end. Now I don't know if I told you guys entirely my situation, but you know my, my my apartment now it's good, better than the other one I had. But you know I'm definitely making big moves now to get me a little something nicer to do crazier shit in for later on. So you know those wheels are turning now. So I'm glad. I'm I'm, I'm trust me. 17. I don't even. I don't. Why do I not even remember anything from this fucking year? Um, Granddad, thank you for the sponsorship too, man. Um, I'm gonna leave this page before more porn pops. What the fuck is? This? If I shoot, she shoot. What the hell? Why would Kizu? Why? What the hell? What's this girl's name again? Um, Kizuna I Desne, the, the the artificial YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, I'm gonna get off of this before more porn pops up. That's what happened last time. I almost fucked me up, man. But yo, we. Uh, wait a second. Hold on a second. Let me just see something real quick. I think my settings are a little bit fucked up. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. Now, let me just get to these donate. Oh my God, you dudes are crazy. Dudes donating like motherfucking mad right now. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Um, Tenacious Gamer saying, yo, your boy just got a Nintendo Switch. Can I get a Joy-Con, boys? Dude, that shit's been gone, man. I, I, I had my computer redone like three times i lost that file but you know what you can say it in your head just think it real hard to yourself and you'll and you'll be able to feel the energy from that shit man i i can't do it for you anymore though i, I should probably make a new one i'll make a joy i'll make a joy con men one how about that i feel like making a shirt with that shit. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny what the fuck did you dudes just send me what is this video is this like what is this video wait a minute oh, oh it's a good thing i did not fucking show that on camera what is this dude so you know what i figured as much as what happened dudes are gonna send me blatant porn it's whatever i can deal with it man um okay okay yeah there's no more holdups there's no more i can't do those anymore man he, i told you guys that this ain't nothing new but all right now what are we going to be doing tonight now friends not only is it really close to new year's but it's also a friday which means niggas ain't got nothing to do in the morning and if you do it's probably work or whatever hold on Karma Fields with a hundred dollars. He's saying, let's get fucked up, my boy. The timing couldn't be any better. As soon as I was going to describe a little bit of what... I, I don't have a plan, but I got a little bit of something that I think we can work with as to what the content of this stream will be tonight. And my friends, it's going to be fucked up. Why do I subject myself to this? I have no idea. But it's been a little while since I've done something, you know, scary, scary. Doki Doki was a little scary, but... Something that actually kind of really, really makes me like piss myself. I don't think I've done that in a while. So I might have a little bit of that planned, a little something. You know, you always got to have a plan B, plan C. And uh, let's just say I got I, I got a lineup. So, you know, we'll see how the vibe goes. Karma Fields is definitely feeling the shit, though, man. Thank you very, very much for that donation. Um, Big that Deep Web. Listen, now we got let me let me bring that up again, man. The Deep Web. The last time we went there, it was a completely different computer. As, as similar as everything looks right now, I don't have any of those files. So me trying to access that shit now is not going to work out. But one thing I did kind of want to talk about in relation to the deep web is how this cryptocurrency has been moving, boy. Now, a few weeks ago, if you remember, I made a purchase of a little bit of Bitcoin in just a fuck it thing. It was a stupid investment because, you know, I think I bought Bitcoin when it was like super expensive, like a 19,000. And it never really jumped up to that point and stayed there. So right now, Bitcoin has been struggling. But the thing is, that purchase of Bitcoin was a gateway drug. And as soon as I took a little bit of a sniff of that crack, <laughs> your boy got numb. And started to motherfucking tweak. I was the cryptocurrency. Oh my god, what a game! And I was hooked. 
so i made a couple of accounts to different websites trading places informing places to like you know get your your head wrapped around what the hell's been going on in the field and boys your boy kind of got a little bit of a i have a little bit of a, of a of a resume a little bit of a portfolio boy i don't know if you ain't been on the game then you gotta catch up, baby. You need to catch up, baby. Because right now with the crypto, nigga, with the crypto, your boy's been pulling in them chips, though. Your boy been pulling in them chips, though. You see this, nigga? <sighs> I'm, wait, hold on, let me refresh it. Because, you know, this is always back and forth. I don't know, where's the money at now? Okay, it just dropped. Okay, you know what? It was higher before. <laughs> um, I'm about $2,500 in. And there's so many of these currencies now. Reversal just came through with $20, $24. He says, my boy, how have things been? This is to what? Where the fuck are the donations? Dude, they are backed up, stacked up from the ass up. Damn, I can't even see this nigga's donation. Where the fuck did you donate? Reversal, where the hell's your donation at? Oh my God, there's a lot of these, man. Reversal is all the way down here, nigga. God damn, boys. Thank you so much for the donations. I can't believe y'all boys have this much money to spend. The holidays just passed. Christmas and all that shit. You are not Black Friday. You ain't supposed to have money anymore. That was what I was banking on. Hey, no, no overwhelming donations this stream. Niggas ain't gonna have nothing to give. Christmas just passed. I'm good money. No. No, I was fucking wrong. How the fuck do niggas have bread like this? I don't know. Negative S saying, yo, Etika, first time donate. I want you to know how's destroy your yin yang. De oh, destroy dick December? Nigga, it's destroy dick for December every month for me. <laughs> that ain't nothing new. You go on my Twitter, nigga. This ain't me self-promoting trying to get my Twitter popping, nigga. My Twitter's lit 24-7. It's, <laughs> it's, I got a bunch of content. Trust me. Destroy dick December has no breaks in this household. Uh, that's, you know, my, my <laughs> my landlord, I think he wants something. He's gonna be like, You nasty motherfucker. <laughs> hey, don't listen. Use gloves when you go into the desk area. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. That's a fucking laugh. I don't take me seriously, okay? You shouldn't take anything seriously. When you come onto the stream, it's like logging on to 4chan, nigga. Don't believe a word of what you hear, what you see. It's all fabrication, nigga. I'm not even real. I don't even exist. But you know what does exist? You know what does exist? You, 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 hey, listen, some of you dudes may not even be believers, but there's been some weird shit happening in the later part of this year. As much as I'm talking about this crypto game, we got to change the topic. Tell me something. If this looks familiar to you, I'm about to show you something and I want you to just tell me, does it strike a chord? I think it's, I think it's good now. Yeah, that's good. Boys. Now, we, I know what you're going to say, Etika, you're bringing up old news. There was an explanation for it, Etika. You don't have to, you don't have to connect these lines. There's no controversy or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what that nigga Elon Musk said, oh yeah, that was us. Boy, I don't know because there's something else that happened. I don't know if these are connected, but... In a week before that crazy shit happened, and this was this was something that happened in California. If you don't know the backstory of this shit, in California a few days ago, when was this posted? I'm on Jaden. I'm on Jaden Smith's profile with this shit. Hey, listen, Jaden's a believer. That nigga Jaden, his third eye is wide open. That nigga, he, he's awakened. He knows what's up. Don't make, don't criticize me for going to this nigga's page for it. He has the key right here, dogs. You, people will, they'll say, oh, it was a rocket. <laughs> yeah, it was a test. Does that look like any kind of rocket you have ever seen? And then there's something else to the story. Like I said, another piece to the puzzle. Um, Farthus with the S rank. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that shit. Um, donations are insane right now. I don't know how I'm going to read back on you guys, but trust me, I will. I will go back. Um, Farthus saying, this is my first stream of yours I ever caught until now. I'm happy to be here. Here's hoping 2018 isn't as much of a train wreck as 17 was. Well, the thing is, in 17, we might actually fucking die, nigga. Because at this rate, aliens are going to be invading the planet before the motherfucking year is out. Now... There was this thing that we saw with the fucking alien sperm in the sky, rocket ship, bullshit, right? Get your tinfoil hats, because I'm about to connect some motherfucking dots for you, okay? Put it on, nigga, because trust me, you ain't going to believe what the fuck's been going on. Now, you might notice something else, like I said, happened a week prior, 
and this is about to shock you a week prior and this happened boom a video had surfaced from 2004, which showed an unidentified flying object that the military had seen and engaged with and had no idea what the fuck was going on. Now, you're gonna say 2004, 2017, what's the difference? I don't think it's a coincidence that these two events happened, or rather this video was leaked. This video was released actually by the Department of Defense in the United States. And then on top of it all, something crazy happened with this, boys. I honestly think that by the end of 2017, somewhere early 2018, we may just have our first encounter with extraterrestrials. I, it, as crazy as I know it sounds, I know you don't want to believe me, but the signs are there. Jaden Smith called it out. CNN fake news? I don't think it's fake news. You dudes can think what you want. I'm not going to criticize you, but you can't do the same to me. All I'm telling you is that the dots are happening way too close to each other to consider this coincidence. You saw it in the sky. Niggas, I, the, the day this happened, I deleted my post. I didn't want niggas to see me talking about this. Okay? It's, it's because I said that the man is going to be watching. And whoever the fuck, whatever this thing was... If you show too much information, now here's the thing, I'm probably fucking myself up because I'm talking about it on stream, but if you show you know too much, you might be fucked up. But there were people that were showing me pictures of the shit, different angles, videos, and all this other stuff. And the way it moved wasn't like the rocket shit, that shit was going up and down. Look, niggas are... I want you to explain to me how a rocket ship looks and moves like that thing did. Shane had saying, I think in terms of cancerous political climate, 17 started as shitty as 16, but it's now calming down, thank God. Calming down. However, video games this year were lit as fuck. Yeah, actually, you know what? Gaming industry wise, it was a very, very good year. So many heavy hitting titles, big stuff. SpaceX, listen, SpaceX, gay sex. I don't, I don't believe it. Not one bit. Dogs, I've seen rocket ships. They don't look like that. <laughs> they don't look like that. And then a video of extra Look, how do you explain this then? How do you explain this video? Look, listen to the video. These niggas were talking in there and you heard them mentioning. Well, it seems like this thing. It's rotating. Only recently acknowledged by the Department of Defense. The Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program looked into reports of unidentified flying objects. But funding for the program ended in 2012. Okay. So, look, man, I'm not trying to make you dudes all paranoid and stuff, but something has happened, and the government doesn't want you to know. They want you to remain relaxed, celebrate New Year's, drink champagne with the family, except for little Timmy. He's underage. Put his ass in the closet. But yeah. when the time comes, you better be ready. That niggas, there were some informed, <laughs> there were some informed, smart individuals had said the only time that aliens would have a need to come to our planet is when they're ready to fuck shit up. So we have to be prepared. Do you have a weapon at home that you can use in case motherfucking a l m a o bust through your door? I am not about to be caught out here on some sign shit on some Mel Gibson. I'm I'm catching a I'm a catching a gray body. If the day comes in 2018, dog, and we make content contact, bro, that would be crazy though, wouldn't it? The year where we fucking have an alien invasion. Where's Will Smith? <laughs> Jaden Smith! <laughs> Jaden, you gotta save us, boy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm scared. This thing got to me a little bit, man. I don't know, man. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna have a fucking... We're gonna have a debate right now. Real quick. A real quick show of hands in the chat. An I or no. If you believe that early 2018 will be the year... That us as a civilization finally experience contact with extraterrestrials on a wide scale. And I'm talking, I'm not just talking, I'm talking major, like Arizona Lights major. And that was another 
creepy ass event that there is still no explanation for. Do you know what that, the Arizona lights, if that doesn't ring a bell with you, look it up on your own time. It's, it's insane. Um, a quick summary of it. Everyone living in a certain town in Arizona saw the same fucking thing at the same time. There were like 20,000 witnesses and the government was like, oh, it's a balloon. But hey, let me see a I or no, if you believe this will happen or no, if you don't believe it'll happen, man. Because I don't know. I need to know. Am I crazy? Am I bugging out right now? Is this, am I spazzing? Monica said, hey, Monica, what's up? <laughs> what's up, boo? Monica says, you haven't forgot about me, right? Wow, what am I talking about? You would never forget about me, Des. I hope you spend all your time with me next year. Monica, I, I tried opening up the game again. I think I got to re-download it. Nigga, that was no balloon. Dog, you, okay, I'm seeing a lot of no's. You guys, fine then. I'm crazy. Call me crazy. Whatever. <laughs> crazy nigga with a flat top losing his mind on YouTube gaming. <laughs> Motherfucker talking about UFOs and aliens. You're, you're laughing at me. You're not going to be laughing when motherfucking has his fucking 18,000 inch fucking anal probe with a fucking heat seeking feature lodged up your asshole looking for eggs. I'll be the one laughing at that point. You dudes, and you're going to be like, and you're going to be sitting there on the damn table with the thing shoved up your ass and you're going to be like, that nigga was right. <laughs> I'll probably be dead. <laughs> Yo, the motherfucking FBI, they probably already got me on their watch list as it is, man. They're probably fitting the bus through the door right now. Nigga, the men in black are gonna be like, you know too much. They're gonna have the gun be like, <laughs> you're just gonna see a hand come grab me. You know how in the old school days of those um, plays on on stage, they had like the, the curtain? You go, you know how you had the hook? The, <laughs> the, the shit that... And it goes and grabs you off? That hook is gonna, you're gonna see the hook come over here and it's gonna get me by my neck and you're gonna see me. <laughs> and that was the, that nigga was never heard from again. <laughs> I believe, I believe, damn it. But hey, we'll see. I'm gonna bet on that shit. I ain't just betting on Bitcoin. I'm betting on, a I'm betting on ET, nigga. James the Savior saying, yo, I hope you've been having a great holiday season. I just got the switch earlier today. Can't wait to play Zenny 2, but that have to be on Monday since I got work on the next three nights. That's a dangerous game to get into. I've been going ham on Xenoblade 2. Um, I got over 100 hours in that shit. I've been spazzing, losing my damn mind. Um, hey, understand that once you get sucked into that world, it's going to be hard to pull yourself out. I had meant to stream the last few days. I didn't even get a chance to because the game fucking consumed me. But if you're going to start playing it, play that shit on a weekend, on a Friday. That's probably the better thing to do. So that way you don't lose complete control over your entire life and forget your responsibilities and shit, man. But you know what? As much as I know, I want to go on and on about how the motherfucking extraterrestrials are about to screw everybody up. I know that you don't want to. You, you're all scared. Y'all motherfuckers are always on some. Oh, Edgar, no, I'm so frightened. Please, no. Motherfuckers, y'all shaking like a little babe, a <laughs> little piggy. <laughs> so you know what? I'll spare you. You don't need those thrills. You're trying to relax on a Friday night. Well, listen, I got nothing else to do. Usually you go outside, you party, you have a good time. Motherfucking drink beer. I hate beer, but I'll drink it if the niggas are drinking it socially. <laughs> I can't do that because right now in New York City, the temperature, and this may not work if you're in the UK because I don't know how to convert it to Celsius. It is fucking five degrees Fahrenheit considering wind chill. Dog, fuck New York City. It is new brick over here. That's the new name, nigga. I can't tell you how cold it is. I went out there with two layers on a jacket, a heat tech from Uniqlo because they saw that's the, that's the Japanese um, heat technology. And I went out there my motherfucking nuts, they recess so deep into my body, you could look at me and say, I have a pussy, nigga. That's how my, my genitals went into my cavity and vanished, nigga. Dogs, be careful. If you live in New York City and you go outside, you're going to have to carry a whole jar of Vaseline. And I ain't just talking for your lips. Rub that shit on your fucking face, your fucking pee, your, 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 rub it on your testicles, your leg, everywhere, nigga. Because, man, that wind hits you, that bitter cold, that shit hit, boom, lips cracked as fuck. There was a post that, 
Let me show you how that weather out there made me feel, man. There was someone who posted on motherfucking Twitter, and it fit the bill completely. Yo, edgy, yo, yo, edgy trash. What's going on, edgy? Thank you very much for coming through. Donations out the ass. Y'all boys are tripping right now. I see you out here. Thank you. But I got to show you a real-time picture of how my lips looked after I came in from the bitter 5-degree Fahrenheit New York City cold. It wasn't pretty. I'm, I'm going to advise you. It, this picture might just motherfucking make you cringe. So take a seat and grab onto a fluffy blanket. So that way it, it, the mental the mental coping will work better. Because this picture, man, I'm t this was me. This was me. Where's that picture at? Damn, that nigga took it down. That nigga took the picture down, bro. Fuck. Now, here's the thing. The picture was on this nigga Shizzy's page. He had posted a picture of these lips, and it was so grotesque, so disgustingly dry and chapped and brown and dead. It looked like gangrene got up in them shits. Oh, wait, here it is. This motherfucker right here. Dog, I cannot tell you how badly I want to... You know what? No, that's a threat towards someone who works with the government. I'm going to get put in the party van for that shit. I cannot tell you how much I wish that... I wish he tripped on a fucking banana peel. That's all I'm gonna say, man. I don't promote senseless hate and violence, but against a nigga like that, I wish his lips looked like the ones I was trying to find. Shizzy, why you delete that picture, nigga? I was gonna show niggas. It was disgusting. He probably got a lot of backlash on his page. This nigga, <laughs> this, this nasty nigga posted that shit. Niggas are like, what the fuck? Uh, but yeah, consider yourselves lucky that you don't have to endure that, but guess what you do have to deal with? Another two, three hours of me. Just Etika in the motherfucking flesh, ready to get the goddamn business. Um, Scottish one saying, I've been watching the VODs ever since you appeared in Achievement Hunter. I thought I would give back a bit of for the free content. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that perspective. Just one question. When are we getting the Doki Doki Literature Club Game Theory Reaction, my boy? I watched all the shit. I saw everything. I know. The whole. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I couldn't wait, damn it. Can you blame me? Besides, here's another thing, man. You niggas might like game. I like game. I love game theory too, but I hate reacting to his videos. It's just, uh, it's, it's not meant, it's not a format that I prefer. I mean, maybe you would like it, but eh, not me. But hey. I know everything now, so it's like, mind fuck from that whole shit. So there won't be a Doki Doki Part 3, just to get that out the way, niggas. I couldn't resist. I, I was like, you know what? Might as well. So, yeah. The fact that there's going to be another game, looking forward to it. Hopefully, it actually is creepy, scary, and all that other shit. But we'll see. I'm going to be anxious for that one. A Martian Drac with $50 as a donation. Thank you very much, man. He says, what are we doing today um, at the end of this year? I, I I got stuff. I don't have to tell you exactly. Just know that I got something in the bag. You niggas want to see what's in the bag? Swiggity swag, what's in the bag? I ain't showing you nothing. Girl, I ain't speaking. Girl, I ain't speaking. Y'all ain't seeing nothing yet. My bag of tricks, my bag of dicks will be dug into when it needs to be, okay? You sit there, enjoy the stream, grab your favorite beverage and snack. Have a motherfucking a breather, my nigga. It's fine. You belong to me tonight. Don't get it twisted. You know how usually the motherfucking the guys who are watching the stream are all like, yeah, do this, do that. No, you are mine. You you are my property. On a Friday night, too? Oh nigga, I'm having my way with y'all motherfuckers. Y'all motherfuckers are spreading it open. And you gonna let me inside. <laughs> with consent, of course, because we all respect women. 2017. <laughs> we all respect individual consent for any activities involving sexual relations. Trust me. But I'm gonna get in that ass with some consent, nigga. I'll, oh, I'll get me that consent. <laughs> Y'all, nigga. Uh, that pill cost me. <laughs> no, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. If you can see this, it's too late, man. <laughs> you put the pills in. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. I really don't mean to make light of that. That's some fucked up shit. Bill Cosby is a horrible disgrace of a human being. If he did do all those things, if he didn't, then fuck. But, um, no, no. T -t tonight, waiting for tonight. <laughs> I heard that song recently. I was like, yo, that shit is a jam. J-Lo killed that shit. Oh, we gotta get a pill in the chat. <laughs> Dr. Mario likes pills, right? <laughs> Oh my god, nigga. Um, Xander saying, yo, my boy Etika, I've been watching you for years. I wanted to finally donate to thank you for all the quality content. Arigato gozaimashita, my man. I appreciate that shit. Speaking of Arigato gozaimashita, I know um, Evo was supposed to be going down in January, and it has like um, niggas competing over there. It's supposed to be some wild shit. 
it's not looking that good for me. My, now, here's the thing. I wanted to cancel that Japanese trip, but the thing, the problem, the problem is that I booked the flight with a Japanese company. So I go on the website, and they're like, Neho no understand refund of your money, nigga. And I'm like, fuck, call up. And that woman answered the phone. For, this company deals in English language, too. I think it's Japan Airlines. Ca called them. Them niggas, <laughs> the pills in the chat. Picked up the phone. You know what that motherfucker said to me? Oh, hi, yo. <laughs> I said, God damn it. I, can I get a refund? Oh, they hung. This one, eh? I'm like, no! No! And I was just like, fuck. <laughs> you know what? Hey, I lost the money. I could have put that in a Bitcoin, nigga. But whatever. Um, <laughs> Jukui Rango Dango saying, today's my birthday. I turned 24. How are you doing? Listen, man. Listen, man. You know what the thing is? New Year celebration usually involves you getting turned. My man, you're 24 years old. Dog, this is the one time I don't need a motherfucking donation celebration to hit that damn shot cup. We're doing it right now, and I'm doing it just for the celebration factor. We are taking our cel- Yo, yo, listen, it's New Year's. Not yet, but we're damn close to it, dog. I know for a fact you boys are gonna be drinking with my ass. You got to. We're gonna be celebrating, man. Now- the thing is, that nigga Ice Poseidon also having this party too, so I don't know if I'm gonna be here to motherfucking drink with you all when it happens, but you know what, if I'm not, let's get that shit out the way right now. Before we get into the fucked up shit that I have planned later on for the stream, let's have a good time right now, alright boys? Jukoi, I appreciate that, everybody, put your cups up! <laughs> no, that's not how the song goes, but I mean, hey, hold on a second. You know what? It's New Year, boy. It's a new year, it's a new me. We about to take this fireball loosely. <laughs> Nigga, I tried to vomit. Oh god, I don't got no I, I used to be I used to be a legend at this shit. Oh, I got a gusher. Oh, fuck, nigga, fuck. Oh, whatever. I got more gushers, I think. Do, do I have more? Bro. I don't know, man. I've been addicted to these shits, dog. <laughs> but we are about to real quick, dog. 2017. I don't seem to remember much of you, but it's been a crazy year. Karma Fields with $50. The donations are ridiculous tonight. God damn. He said, don't need to listen to it, but since you like rap, maybe you should listen to my track, Greatness. My boy's true. He is dead ass mixtape pushing on the street. <laughs> Doug, I love it. The fact that you got motherfuckers out here doing the same shit they be doing in the streets, but then again, you know what? 50 Cent blew up like that. I can't be mad at you, man. Karma, you, you've shown so much support. Maybe I'm going to give that mixtape a listen. I, I, I kind of feel like I have to now, but you know what I'm going to give a listen? It sounds ready to celebrate, <laughs> boys. I want you all right now. And hey, listen, don't think I'm bullshitting. I am on Twitter, my nigga. I am looking. I'm waiting. I'm out here right now looking at my mentions. I want to see. I want to see motherfuckers out here right now. My page is updating as we speak. Y'all motherfuckers ready to celebrate with me, all right? Grab your favorite beverage, whether it be liquor, milk, or whatever. It's a Friday night. You don't got to worry about shit. Let's have us a motherfucking sip. Let's do it up big, man. New year, new me, new channel, new stream. Let's do it. <laughs> Y'all boys ready? Wait, what the fuck is this? Why, why, wait, hold on. My shit isn't updating here. So you know what? It's it's complex. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I don't know what the hell's going on. Let's just um put this thing here. Why? Good. That's an ugly shit. I mean, okay, whatever. Let's, let's do it. Are y'all ready? We're going to toss it back. We're going to toss it back. I'm not even going to do a motherfucking cup. Uh, maybe... <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> what the fuck? Niggas, I, I knew y'all were going to post some dumb shit like this. What is this? Is that porn? I saw it coming from a mile away. All right. Let's go, boys. To a new year. 2017, you've been great. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What the fuck is this? All right, so clearly, Izumi here is getting into the same spirit. It ain't right unless you're wet, okay? Orange juice. Fuck. Orange juice works, too. All right. Fuck. I need me. I need me to get that for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
considering that the alien apocalypse is kind of close by, we need to treasure these last moments that we have with each other, because who knows how long they'll truly last. As this year comes to an end, we need to show appreciation for the small things in life. There's a lot of negative that we can put our highlight on, but it's the good times that bring us together and make us feel nice and warm inside. This is the same trash set for Thanksgiving. I put that shit in the fucking washing machine. I'm redoing it. I'm, re I'm reposting it, nigga, because fuck that. I mean, it, it, it's important. It matters. We got to make sure that we go into the new year with a refreshed perspective, looking at things in a positive way. And hold on a second. Positive is definitely what y'all do to doing out here with these donations tonight. Marlon, Marlon, Milesco. He's um, coming through with 69 dollars saying, what's up, fag? First time donating. Happy New Year's. Thank you so much, my man. Thank you so much, Marlon. All the donators that are out here tonight. Niggas are going fucking ham on me right now. And uh, trust me, I'm about to hit y'all with the cheese, too. Oh, Lord. I'm... Hey, hold on. Niggas are going. We got to take a moment in the stream to celebrate, man. If, yo, if you're taking a shot with me, do it like this gentleman, Pete. P Wait, what's his name? Pussy, Pussy Mop? Pussy Mop? He came through and showed me a picture of him taking that mother. What kind of little bitch ass motherfucking shot is that? I <laughs> Get a big old, I took a whole damn goal. This means you're a grown ass man. You know damn well you need more than that, man. Before we continue, let me just see. Hey, hold on. Wait, what the fuck? Kid, what the fuck are you drinking? I hope to God that's apple juice, okay? <laughs> it better not be nothing else. What else we got here? Niggas drinking Texas water? That doesn't sound too healthy to me. Doesn't it have oil in it or something like that, man? Niggas got like chipotle sauce? <laughs> well, why y'all drinking that? I don't think that works, man. But hey, if it's all you got to drink, then I hope you did it with me, man. Hold on, motherfucker. Some more niggas drinking out here. Hey, my boy coming through. Hey, listen, man. I see you out here. I see y'all niggas. The boys are here. The men. The men are here. Thank you for coming through. Taking that with me. I appreciate that. Respect goes out to every single one of you out here who doesn't just... There's so many people that come here and they pretend the role just for the moment. Oh, his streams are so fun and there's a lot of activity and crazy shit going on. Let me come through and uh, just, be a, just watch what's going on. If you're watching from the side, guess what you are? You a wallflower. You don't fucking participate, but you want to be like, you want to be all up in the mix. But when it comes time to the spotlight on you, you want to back up. We don't like those here in New York City. Bitch niggas, we don't like. Let me tell you, there's a fucking rule set. I'm going to remind you real quick refresher. No bitch niggas, snitch niggas, twitch niggas, fake switch niggas. Was that all the rules? <laughs> well, bitch niggas and sister niggas and twist niggas. Yeah, that was it. Four rules right there. You know what? And I know those rules like the back of my damn hand, like the top of my dick. I know the whole damn thing. If you're not going to be a part of the movement and be involved in the movement, then the movement's going to move without you, boy. You got to jump on top of it, man. You got to be with it. Duncan Obi say, yo, my first time donation, long time viewer. I got around to whew, these donations. God damn. How backed up are we? They haven't had the donation stopped once since we started streaming. God damn it, niggas. <sighs> All right. Well, you know what's going to stop the donations? Once the crazy shit starts going down. Listen. If this is your first time, a lot of people are in here saying my first time watching the stream, first time and all that stuff. So you know what? That's cool. I'm always I'm always willing to like welcome new people in here. But the rules and the standards, they always change, you know? I was talking to the guys in the sponsor chat for a little bit before the stream. I usually always read what they're saying anyways. They think I don't read what they say. <laughs> they think I'm completely oblivious to shit. I've been seeing everything, man. But them niggas... These gushers are damn well. Man, I'm about to bite my damn tongue in half for chewing on these gushers. When you feel that juice bust, <laughs> pause. <laughs> when you feel that juice, oh, I man, one more gusher. You want a piece? Here, open your mouth. <laughs> open your damn mouth. I, I, I'm Here. Mm. I'll tell you, you took a little bite? Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. That's all I needed. I just wanted to feel control over you by making you take a bite of my damn gusher. But, um, man. Hold on, another donation. Um, Shakuma11. Listen, that alien shit is crazy. Listen, there's more to talk about with the alien shit. I have more. If you notice my pin tabs, them shits are lit right now. But you know what? I'm not going to focus on that. Because right now, the negativity from all that shit, people don't need that. But what was that? What was I just talking about? I just lost my sin. These damn gushers are evil. You know what? I'm just going to finish the whole pack right now. Real quick. And then we can move on. Because damn, these are good. <laughs> these are damn good, man. I can't lie. Some gushers, bro. 
Hey, listen, if you want me to have sex with you, come up to me, give me some damn gushers. And boy, <laughs> I'm pulling your pants down. <laughs> You're pulling my pants down. Fuck. That's fucked up to say. I have a feeling that someone's going to come up to me now and do that dumb shit. Hey, hold on a second. I love that my Twitter is constantly updating. My boy, too old for gaming, he came through with the Jameson bottle. We in celebration mode right now. I love seeing this, man. Thank you guys so much. Nudes are out here going in with me. I wish, I, man, I, you know what I truly wish? That I had the power to just ooh, motherfucking teleport every single one of the boys to a remote location where we can rent out a mansion or some shit and shut that motherfucker down. That's actually kind of my plan now. My ultimate goal as a person was to get a penthouse apartment. I had one before, but a bigger one and live out of there and have parties there and all that. But now I realize the best way to live a party lifestyle is to have a house. So my ultimate goal is to acquire a house in Brooklyn, New York and have parties there on the regular. Have motherfuckers flying in, getting fucked up and going out on the plane twisted. Dude, that would be the ultimate goal right there. It doesn't seem like there's anybody that's in that position in my circle who has like a house that niggas can get to get fucked up in. They own. It's their shit. That's why I want, I want my own house, bro. Not for, you know, usually <laughs> niggas get the house because they're like, oh, let's settle down and have some children, Jenny. No, no, the exact opposite. I'm trying to motherfucking have niggas make children in my house <laughs> at parties and shit, consensually. <laughs> you know what I mean? Spacebar is saying, what the fuck are you talking about, niggas drinking this goddamn, this damn dish oil? That now that's not that doesn't fit, bro. Hold on, take um Graham. Yo, hold on. What are these donations, bro? Niggas are bodying me right now. Hammer a hard back at it again in the streams. He says, nigga, you gonna keep you gonna get banned for streaming this theory. I'm raising my hand with my fellow Joy-Con boy. I hear some niggas in the chat wanting that Doki Doki game theory, by the way. Uh, like I said, I watched it. But in terms of this alien theory. You know, I don't want to give you all the details right now because I love blue balling you. you. You'll get a little bit now. I have more dots to connect later on. And by the way, if you have any information as to extraterrestrials or you happen to be one yourself, because that's another theory that aliens already live among us. There were some military documents leaked out by some world class hacker and they had listed apparently government officials and military grade bosses as extraterrestrials i mean it's not that cut and dry like how i said oh yeah he's an extraterrestrial but they listed it was kind of like it in a way they, like they listed they it so who knows this could be some men in black type shit where the nigga they are among us already look as crazy as i know i might seem nutty as a motherfucking bat i still feel like, there's something to it that we don't understand. Now, here's the thing. I said before, if you believe aliens are going to invade the Earth, and everybody was like, no, no, no. But tell me this. Tell me this with full honesty. As my viewer, me as the guy, I'm not talking to you as a content creator. I'm not talking to you as Etika, the founder of the Joy-Con men. I'm talking to you as Desmond Amofa, 27 years old, living in New York. Typical dude. Do you really think that the government has told us everything that they know about extraterrestrials. Good. One, yes. Two, no. I'll wait. That's something I want to see. One, yeah. The government's been a hundred. Two, there's something up. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not even all that much that they. You now you see suddenly the scales are tipped. Robin status, time, dude. I know damn well that we all think that shit. There's no way all the details are out. Why withhold a couple of things? You know, that's exactly what I'm saying. That thinking, my friend, that thinking is exactly what we need. Question everything. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. We, we got it. I just quoted Assassin's Creed. Mook is a clod with the $20 donation saying, tin foil boys, I'm telling you, but it's good to see you niggas are woke. Open that third eye. <laughs> I, you, you might be surprised at what you see with it. There, there's stuff they ain't telling us, bro. If you don't believe it, it, the proof is in the pudding. Roswell, Phoenix, it's all there. Now all we need is pressure. 
Make them reveal the truth. Just like they revealed that video from 2004 which showed that weird ass shit flying in the sky. They gotta show us more shit like that. Although I'm kind of scared. You know what I heard? It was a quote from someone that scared the shit out of me. And I mean, I'm sure you've heard it too. It's either we're completely alone in the universe or there's something else out there. Both options are terrifying. That's crazy. So it's like, which one do you prefer? Do you want there to be aliens or do you want us to be completely isolated? The only living organisms in existence. I don't know which one to tell you. I would like to think there's other life out there. That there's aliens somewhere on a planet that are looking just like how we would. Curiosity driving them. Discovering places. But that alone is so scary. What kind of people would they be? What kind of things would they be? Would they be humanoid? Would they be monsters? Everyone has these theories. I mean, we see them in gaming all the time. But I mean, what if it actually comes down to it? What will a fucking... If an alien walk... If a, what if my... What if the, what if the windows lit up right now? And you see me disintegrate. What was the being that did it? That's the scary part. I mean, as much as some of you may not want to believe it, I know a lot of religions don't believe in extraterrestrials. They say, oh yeah, you know, not don't exist or nothing. I know if you're like a devout Christian, you don't believe in extraterrestrials and all that. You don't believe in dinosaurs. But I don't know, man. I think that's closing your mind off to a lot of information. But then again, you know what? I'm not going to get into that. I'm not about to shit on religion. Uh, but one thing I will say is that the truth is out there. What if I what if I beamed up from Earth and went like a trillion light years one direction? Stephen Hawking said black holes are portals to other worlds. I why was I'm I'm just I just don't understand how people can say that there's nothing out there. There's gotta be. Our universe is massive, dog. I mean if there's nothing out there truly, I'll be shocked. And I will never ever, but, but they, there's no way to prove it. That's the thing. That's the thing. There's no way to truly prove this until, why couldn't I be born? Dude, why couldn't we be born 8,000 years from now? What if we, my friends, closed our eyes tonight when we go to bed and we, we think 2018 is on the horizon. We wake up and it's the year 10,020. What would we see? Do you think the old humans back in the American Revolution could imagine a world like this now? George Washington was a human that existed and no one living right now has ever seen him. There's humans far earlier than that. King Tut was a man and he, could, could he see this? Imagine what we can't see. I don't know, to me that theory is astonishing and disturbing. It's like everything at once, there's so much mystery. I don't know. But if I had the choice right now, Lino with $20, S-ranking me, he says, oh, Etika, bro, did you watch a Little Board's video on you? If not, you got to do a live reaction because it's fucking hilarious. I'm not sure who Little Board is, man. I'm sorry. Yo, guys, I suck with donations tonight. I'm sorry. I'm just on such a tangent right now. I really do apologize, guys. But the thing that I have another question for you, a choice, a button, you press that button and the thing we talked about, waking up in 10,000 years, it happens to you. Everything you know now, gone. Your, your, your interactions, your, your relationships, your, your achievements, your physical possessions. You literally just wake up as you, who you are right now, same age, in 10,000 years. On the same planet, in a safe place, you just wake up. Would you press that button? I'm being serious, dead serious. Are you going to take that journey? And here's the thing, you can press the button now and you know, it doesn't happen right away. It doesn't happen instantly. You have some time. By the time it hits 12 midnight, it ain't 2018, nigga, it's 10,000. And that's the crazy part to me. It's going to happen. 10,000 years have passed in a blink of an eye on the planet Earth. Another 10,000 is going to pass with you and me looking at each other right now. A second just passed, a minute, an hour, a day, a year, a decade, a century, a millennia. It's so fascinating to me. And it's like, wow, I wish I could see it. <laughs> Man, that would be badass. <sighs> Nigga, we're all year, it's the year 10,000 AD. What is happening? What are we doing? What, 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 what is, what isn't? 
what have we seen? What do we know? What do we look like? Do we even look like us in 10,000 years? Man, <laughs> I wish to God I could know. But there may be options. There may be options. What if there was a way to cryogenically preserve ourselves that was reliable enough to where we would be able to have consciousness of our previous selves in the future? There may be some ways that that path is opened up to us by the time we reach death's door, maybe in 2080. I would do it. I would preserve my shit. I want to see everything. I mean, I think if you don't, that's that's obviously respectable too. You just want to live you and you want to go when you want to go. But, but what if there was something there that we don't want to see? But would you want to take the risk of seeing it though? I don't know. God damn it. I'm fucking myself up. Uh, Whenever it's the end of the year, I always think about shit like this because it's like so interesting to me how the passage of time, it's such a rudimentary concept that we all know and experience and think we understand. But do you really understand what time is? I don't know. Ambi saying, first off, who's the funny man who used hyper Ambi? And second off, who has, wait, who was the best Doki Doki Literature Club character? Oh, we can laugh at Doki Doki and all that other stuff and, and figure, <laughs> wait a minute, homie, we got a bunch of people out here who are tipping their damn cups and drinks to me. Motherfucker, a girl came in here drinking water. Man, put some, put something extra in that bottle. I'm just saying, I can't be the only one turned up tonight, but then again, do I, am I, do I even seem turned right now? Wait, what, wait, what? What's this? Is that an indication of UFO being drawn by ancient civilizations? Or it could be some other shit. It could be Photoshop too. Nigga drinking motherfucking a glass of fresh air. Nice. Hold on. Boys are out here drinking up with me. I see you, boys. Thank you. Yo, listen, man. Is that fireball you got in that bottle? Yo. I like. Yo, damn. The nigga took the whole thing. Yo, hold on. Now I gotta. Now you're making me feel some kind of way. I gotta put some respect on this nigga's name. Ambi, thank you for your donation. Another big ass donation. Oh my god, how much was this? 200 from Parker. Wait, no, no, that's not Parker Anderson. That's Pe Pes Pes Persk. Oh, wait, that's Scar. That's Scar. I remember your ass, man. What's going on, dude? Shit, he's back at it again. Dude had deep pockets from the last stream, and he's transferring them shits over to this one. I think you were someone that was investing in Bitcoin and shit too, right? Uh, Scar, thank you very much for coming back through here again. Dogs, I just took a swig of the bottle. You know what? But I I have a feeling that I should probably take another one. Man came through two hundred dollars. Uh, should I? No, I'm gonna look like a bitch if I don't do it now. I can't look like a bitch. These niggas believe in me. Okay, fine then. Scar, you got it. Oh man, I shouldn't be doing these swigs. <laughs> I shouldn't be. Guess what? That whole thing about me not getting drunk. I think I do get drunk now. <laughs> so it's like it wore my 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 intoxication, my alcohol armor. It wore off, so now I'm, a, I'm as bare as a baby. But you know what, Scar? You're the last person I'm gonna take a swig for. I cannot drink anymore. I'm not reverse. I'm using reverse psychology, Scar. You're the, you're the last person I'm taking a drink for. Okay? There's still things for us to do. So, <sighs> oh my God! Whole mouthfuls to the head. What kind of shit am I on right now? I'm not even using a shot cup. I just took this shit straight. Ugh, let me get some gushes. All right. All right. Oh, give me something. Let me get some water. Okay. So we're back. Now, boys. I realize I might have mind fucked some of you guys with all this future talk, 10,000 years plus talk. That's not the purpose of this stream. It's not to fuck you up. Well, then again, considering previous themes, um, maybe it is. I, 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 one thing I know for a fact is that I have some things listed here. Now, I'm not going to hold words with you all. Good. We've experienced 
and seen done engaged a lot of questionable topics on this stream in the past year. I think this year definitely sets a whole new standard of precedent. Even though I didn't stream super often, the few times that I did were usually crazy in one form or another. And I think a new record that we set for ourselves is one in viewers. This is the, the most viewers I've ever had in live streaming in my entire career. 2016, I had a lot of viewers. 2017 saw me getting like over 10,000 each. And I mean, that's of course, that's, that's of course because I'm making good content that you guys wanna watch, obviously. I mean, you know, you wouldn't be here if I wasn't making good shit. But rather, a big part of why I had content that was engaging is because of how much fucked up shit we've seen. My question was always this. Will there ever be a point where we've seen it all? Nothing surprises us. It's hard to throw a nigga off balance nowadays, considering the games and the horrible stuff we've seen from games that twist your head into a million pieces like Undertale and Doki Doki to real life experience of seeing sex rings, underage human trafficking, and other dark deeds performed on the deep web, whether they be weird, real or not, or honeypots or not. It seems like this stream has kind of engaged in all of it. And it's like, I don't publicize a lot of that stuff. You know, you won't find most of those questionable topics uploaded on my YouTube channel, just because I feel like they're a little bit too extreme to even be found that easily. Some people re-upload, but on my channel, I don't know. I like my channel being identified as a Nintendo while and out channel, but whenever the streams come on, it's usually something else. There's been gauntlets, gauntlets, whatever you want to call them. However, I feel like in order to surprise us, there has to be some next level shit that we see. Lil Bored? I don't know. I don't know. But it's the, but that doesn't that bring up the question? Will there ever be a time where we can say faithfully that there's nothing else that surprises us anymore? I ask myself that question all the time. Because Doki Doki kind of gave me a revelation where I got disturbed by that game. And I didn't think it would happen. So it's like, what do you guys think? We've seen it all here. Do you think we're close to the plateau or we're nowhere near that plateau? Say close in the chat or nowhere near in the chat. If you've been here, if you've seen, if you're a new viewer, just sit back and watch the show. But if you've experienced all these crazy things, when I was on the deep web, I had like 26,000 viewers or something like that. So I'm sure some of you guys, at least a good portion of you guys, will be able to give your opinions. No way in here? Nah, bro. I thought y'all would say, yo, legitimately, I thought it was going to be the exact op. Nowhere near. I'm not seeing anyone say close. You don't think I've seen it all? Dude, I've seen everything. Motherfucking gore. Human, human extradition. Like, like, I mean, it, it's been human exploitation. I don't know. Haskell the Rascal with $20 saying, I just bought a 4K TV and an Xbox One X. Your face looks so beautiful in 4K. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, thanks, nigga. I was my sack look, nigga. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I, I just flashed the stream. That was unnecessary. I apologize. But, okay. So, if you truly feel... Okay, then. What have I not seen, then? I, I need more information. You're not... Chat, you're not giving me enough context. And I need this from the sponsors, too. Because the sponsors are the old motherfuckers out here. The old fag niggas. I need more follow-up. So, I've not seen it all. Oh, Etika, you're being overly confident, cocky. Clearly, there's more to offer on the internet that will fuck you up, but you've just not seen it. So what is it then? What, what, what honestly, well, well, rather, I mean, guess, I guess asking you is stupid. How are you going to know what I haven't seen? But it's like I've seen gore, fucked up gore, the, the whole gauntlet thing. Um, Chloe Blue saying, what's up? I love your streams, dude. I'm glad to donate and keep it up. Wait, wait, and keep it up to me. Um, LMAO, just at a, <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. You know, now's not a time for jokes like that, man. I'm being serious with you guys right now. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I feel like, honestly, the whole reason why I brought up the alien thing is because that's one of the only things that's recently disturbed me to where it's like, yo, I have to talk about this for the fucking stream. Let them know that there may be some shit going down. I mean, I'm not going to be the first guy to say it, but if something does pop off, Hey, 
you all know I was woke with the shit. Hold on. Another donation just came in. Holy shit. $130 coming in from Brands06 saying, I love the streams, man. Keep it up. Thank you very much, Brands. You see, Brands, you and a bunch of other individuals donating this money to me, you never know. This might just be the last time that you have the ability to do so. I, it's like you got to live to where... A lot of people want to say live like tomorrow ain't going to happen. That's obviously not a practical thing to do. But as certain factors come into play, you have to realize the position that you're in as a mere person, as a mere mortal. There's plenty you can do, but there's plenty that you can't. And a lot of times you don't have full control over a situation. So when things are put into motion, you have to ride with the flow. We as a species, as our prime function, not only is it to just fuck, eat, no, we have the ability to survive better than any other living organism on the planet. Human beings are adaptable as fuck. It can be a tundra. We're good. It can be a motherfucking, a, a raging inferno. We'll somehow pull through. But will we be able to survive something higher than us on the food chain? All of our lives, we've never had to deal with predators who actively seek us out for sustenance. Will that ever happen? And when it does happen, will we be prepared? I don't know, man. Brands, thank you for the 130 dogs. I appreciate that. Um, Thank you. Thank you very much. Trust me. I know for a fact that you guys donating are mad at me that I haven't been able to see all of them. It's just... I, maybe I should raise the minimum. I, I think I should raise the minimum because right now it's like so many donations and you guys are clearly out here to show love for me. Oh my god, I gotta raise the minute. Jens Graham with 101. Pill Cosby. I talked about that joke 30 minutes ago. Or an hour ago. No, it was 30 minutes ago. Jesus Christ, Jens Graham saying Pill Cosby is my spirit animal. You can do me harder than goosh goosh. React to it when you have the time. It's 5 in the morning. I'm ready. It's 5 in the morning. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm gonna have to raise them. I haven't done this in a while, but I'm gonna be raising the minimum to $50. For a donation i know it seems like why the fuck would you do that but there's a lot of fucking people out here right now we're trying to show love and it's like ah oh, no niggas no no <sighs> okay you know what we're just gonna raise it real quick and then we're gonna get back to the topic on hand okay because i have a little something prepared for us tonight with since it's a friday like i said we need to make sure you know me actually before we go into that, well, you know me as a person. I'm all about pushing limits, and it's not just for the show of the camera, but it's the mentality of overcoming any challenge that comes in front of you, which pushes you to greater heights, which makes the motivation to succeed even stronger. The thing, one of the greatest things that ever happened to me was when some members of my family shut me down, told me I'd never do anything, my goals were bullshit, that everything that I aspired for wouldn't cause a damn thing to happen. And it wasn't, there, there's other people that told me that, of course. But when it's family that tells you that, it changes it things. Because all of a sudden, it's like, wow, you really don't believe in me. So I have to, you could, you could look at it in two ways. You could look at it and become depressed and say, oh, well, you know what? I have no support from my family. Um, my peers are indifferent. I feel sad about the whole thing. I don't know if it's even worthwhile trying to go in for it when I, I'm being told that it's not going to happen. I mean, as much as I understand, I understand that point of view where people would get depressed. I mean, who wouldn't? I think everybody gets a little bit depressed at some point when they hear that shit from family members, especially. But there's another way to perceive that and approach it and use it. Obviously, you know what it is. Fuel. You move with it. You're like, what? <laughs> and it wasn't even like any crazy amount of family. But, you know, certain people tell you, you can't do this. And so it makes you say, okay, whatever. Let's try it out. Um, Hold on. Let me just raise the minimum real quick. I'm raising it to 50, boys. I'm so, I'm so apologetic about the whole thing. I apologize. It's just right now the donations are insane. Insane. You boys are clearly in the holiday spirit right now. Y'all are motherfucking, what have y'all been sipping, that eggnog, nigga? What the fuck? Hold on a second. When my mom came over here earlier, we bought some groceries. Did we get the eggnog? Did we get the eggnog? Hold on a second. Did we get the eggnog? Hold on a second. Did we get the eggnog? Hold on. What y'all been sipping? Have you boys been taking hits of that spiked eggnog? It's been the holidays. Listen, I don't know, bro. You gotta, here's the thing about this shit that's so dangerous. Alone, no alcohol, it's easy to drink. No problem. 
mix it, spike it, put that bitch in a bowl with some ice, and oh boy, you ain't tasting nothing. You can spike a motherfucking party to God's ass with this one, man. I, I'm, I'm being real. I've seen it in action. I've not done it yet. I haven't been in the position to have a house party yet. But if I ever do, trust me, don't drink my eggnog. Because when you drink it, you're going to be feeling like, hmm, I'm so nice and happy. <laughs> you ain't going to know what's going on. You hey, Listen, there's going to be, there's so many of you guys in here right now. How many viewers do we currently have? 17,572 viewers. At least one of you guys is going to become a good friend of mine in the immediate future. At some point within the next year or five years. I am, hey, hold on, who day? Oh, I see you boys out here posting the eggnog. Niggas got the eggnog. <laughs> he posted the hood eggnog. You live in Brooklyn, I know you do. <laughs> this nigga, the hood brand. No, I see that shit all the time in the store. Niggas posting the eggnog. <laughs> I like, wait, what the fuck is this? Who the hell invited this nigga to the party? What the fuck? <laughs> nice. Now, hold on a second. These niggas are out here, bro. What the fuck? You do not look legal enough to drink that, my man. You looking like Chad Warden out here at 12 years old with a bottle of damn sir. La Cerveza? What are you doing, bro? I don't know. Heavenly Controller. Welcome back to the stream, my man. Thank you very much. With $50 saying thank you for putting me onto Doki Doki, but fuck you, nigga. I wish I could read where the hell your donation is. I, I can't because it's so far down the list. They're stacked up to hell. He says... But also, if, no, no, I'm going to find his donation. His name is Heavenly Controller. Let me look for you. Uh, Heavenly, he where's the H? Oh, my God. Where in the hell is his donation? How backed up are these things? My Hold on. Give me a second. Let me find him. My Yo. Lord. Wh 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 where is this nigga? Lord. Oh my god. All right. You boys are clearly on some next level shit. Lord Tyron. Lord Tyron? Where's he at? Damn it, guys. I can't find you. <laughs> and I never did know where to find you. Ah, where to find you. <laughs> oh, I love that song. I love that song. Um, Lord Tyron. Same. Like, oh, he sent me a YouTube link. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Tyron. I ain't going, you ain't no lord right here, nigga. We all on the same level in this bitch. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20. Oh my God, there's over 30 donations after him. Oh my God. What the fuck, yo? Yo, Theo. Holy shit. Over 30 donations, backlogs behind Wingstar. Sponsors, donators, big niggas, small niggas, little niggas, tall niggas. It's crazy. Hold on a second. Y'all are clearly in a good mood. Y'all niggas trying to have fun tonight, man. Everybody have fun tonight. <laughs> Nigga, no. Nigga, it's about to be a new year. It's up to you, New York. No, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, fuck. All right, you know what? Clearly, you were all here to have a good time. Donators, you know damn well that I appreciate the presence of you in the chat. Give me a second. If you are in the chat right now for a moment, I want to read what you have to say. Come through. Show me love. You know why I have the chats in my stream? Because the chat, that's the thing that you read when you want your energy. I see you, boys. Karma Fields is again out here with 69. He donated over $200 tonight. Oh, my God. Big niggas are out here. Mixtapes. It's a track I made with Talib Quell Quelly. You fool. I don't need the exposure. I played at the NBA. Wait, what? Whoa, he's a big. You want some slushy shit? Never mind. My bad, bro. Hold on. This I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. Let me read. Wait, I said I was gonna read the chat. I'm reading the chat. Where the fuck are y'all at? Doctor Who shit. What's up? What's up? Let me. No, I'm reading names. Come here. Bring. Bring that ass here. I'm reading names right now. We have Dre, Saul, Isaiah, Doppy, Frost, August, Tony, Grop, X, X Rock, Yuri. My man Alex is in here. Carlos, Beta, Lobstar, Sodium, Obey, Charles, Sexy Name, Die, Marcus, Conway, Blurs, I-Man, Fat Lewis, Riverbank, Mr. MB, Nas Gaming, um, 
Easy Rock, Jay, Jay Wilkes, a bunch of niggas. What the hell? I see you all out here. I feel the energy. Motherfuckers are giving me that shit like it's a spirit bomb. I'm <laughs> Nigga, I'm about to kill Kid Boo with this shit. Carmen, thank you very much for the donation, boy. I appreciate that shit. Are y'all boys ready to have fun? Are you ready to push the limits? Are you ready to expand our knowledge? Well, my friends, I got something here right now that I don't know if this list is going to do it or not, but I think this will be a good way for us to gauge. I'm going to let you read the title. 25 of the darkest, creepiest places on the internet. Now... Being transparent, I already saw the first three of these. And it gets a little bit questionable. It's around 11.35 p.m. here on the East Coast. It's not late. I guess I'm, it's not there in terms of how late it is, like I would want it to be for us doing something like this. But I don't see any reason to delay it. My ultimate plan is to make sure that the stream is hardened, battle hardened. We've seen it all. We've experienced this shit. One of the things that I guess us as a darker YouTube channel do is just have the ability to interact with stuff that normal YouTubers or regular content creators don't want to fuck with. A lot of people don't want this kind of shit on their channel. It's like, nah, that, that, it's too fucked up. I'm not trying to see that. Guys, I know it's kind of crazy for me to say this, but I feel like even though a lot of this stuff is disturbing, it hardens us, it enables us to have armor. On our emotions, on our on our well-being, uh, as people in general, uh, on our perspective, it's better for us to go in and see the fucked up shit and to know how to avoid it, how to dodge it, just how to interact with it, rather than be sheltered and fearful away from it. Like, oh, no, no, we can't. No. This stream isn't going to be meant for everybody. But one thing that I know it will be for is the niggas that want their stomach strengthened. Do you want abs, nigga? Do you want abs? I want my abs back. We are all... It's New Year's. Why are we starting the New Year off looking at fucked up shit? I don't know. But it's like, hey, listen. Whatever. At, at the end of the day here, I think that it, it, it makes me feel hard body. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> Nigga, I feel hard body when I go through stuff like this, okay? I want to make sure that I am fortified as a person. Solidified. Now, if this isn't your cup of tea, I'm going to tell you, you might want to leave the stream. I'm not being sarcastic or condescending. I'm just saying, maybe this isn't you. Already, from what I'm reading on the page, there's a lot of controversial... Ah, oh, God, this is some fucked up shit. Ah, so we have right here, as you can see on the page, in real life cannibals and a woman and her stillborns. That is some fucking twist. Ah, oh, God, that's twisted. You see, now, nah, this may not be your cup of tea. I mean, god damn it, it's a new year. Why are we putting ourselves through this for the new year? Zelda Junkie with $50. Thank you so much, man. Hold on, there's donations before you, too. Speaking of aliens, I've been watching you since you unboxed that Alienware laptop at your damn aunt's house. Hey, you remember that shit? This is my first time donating, though. Here's to the Joy-Con boys. The men, you mean. Hold up. Hold up, indeed. As a matter of fact, we are the Joy-Con men. This is a new year. I said I was on my bullshit, but you know what? Maybe we can actually take on a New Year's resolution to be better people. And part of that process, I guess, how mainstream culture would have you define it, is becoming men. So you know what? Fuck that. As much as I made jokes about it, this year, my friends, we're going to make it more dedicated to being men. Joy-Con men. You know? <laughs> you know what? I actually kind of dig it. <laughs> it kind of works. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Listen, man. <laughs> oh, God. What am I doing? This list is fucked up, nigga. I don't want to go do this shit. I didn't read the rest of the list. All I saw were the top three things that were on it. And there's 25 of them. So, clearly, there's stuff that's going to push our limits. But maybe it's too early to do this now. Maybe it's too early to do this fucked up shit right now. I don't know, man. I feel like this is like really like late night stuff we're gonna wait until some viewers go to bed like you know when we drop down to like maybe thirteen thousand viewers or something we have seventeen thousand viewers right now once that number thins out a little bit and we see people like dip out 
Because right now, it's like, that's so controversial. <laughs> I know YouTube hates my ass by now. They're looking at it like, this fucking asshole is really about to do this live? I know, man, but... Uh, why do I have this nigga, this under... I have an underage kid with fucking beer on my screen! Get this nigga out of here! Get him out of here! Fuck! I didn't even really... Dude, my stream is fucked! I'm gonna get fucking arrested, dog! This... It's... Oh my god... <laughs> God damn it, man. Oh. All right. You know what? We're going to give it a little bit of time. We'll wait an hour or two, and then we'll engage in the crazy shit. It's just I don't feel comfortable doing that shit right now while everybody's awake. Why the hell we have a uh, 17,000 viewers? I don't know. But I'm not about to engage that shit. Oh, man. All right. You know what? Yeah, let's just relax. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> Niggas have a... There's other things that we can do. We can have fun. We can do other things, guys. This is an engaging stream, which involves the community. We, we can YouTube as a community. We're all having fun right now, guys. I mean, come on now. Let's see what's going on on YouTube gaming. Let's have let's, let's take a little bit of a gander. There's a witness as to what's going on, guys. So who's live? What's going on? Who's there? Hammer Heart back at it with fifty dollars, and he says a video of me taking a drink. Nani Surune, nigga? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. All right, so who's live right now? My man Obi-Wan Plays is live. <laughs> He's out here doing his thing. He's probably playing with the OGC. Boys, wait a second. You wanna, you wanna, hey, listen, how about we, to kill a little bit of time, let's find three YouTubers or three people that are streaming, <laughs> streaming, streaming right now. And um, see what the fuck's going on. So we got Obi Wan plays right here. Let's see what he's doing. What's going on, Obi? What's going on? What are you doing? What you doing tonight? What you doing on a Friday night? This nigga look motherfucking dead right now. <laughs> What's going on, Obi? What you doing, bro? What's going on with you, bro? Yeah, I'm gonna just do one race and I'm gonna head out, dudes. Oh wait, wait, wait. is he playing? He playing an Xbox? Bro. Yeah, Obi-Wan does, Nintendo does the unthinkable. Obi-Wan does the unthinkable. Nigga, play an Xbox on my, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit, oh, shit, okay, we, we got it. <laughs> What's going on, Obi? Oh, wow, I thought it was Nintendo, oh, no. baby. Is that an Xbox? Yeah, I don't know. Yep, there's no auto save. <laughs> free Xbox, free $10 Xbox One digital code? The blasphemy! Oh my god! Oh, Obi, what's going on here? I thought you were the Joy-Con man! No! Um, he he stepped play. away from the light! Not me. How could he? Breathe. But we're the, oh, we're, 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 we're the Joy-Con men! Not the oh, Xbox men, not the Bill right Gates now. men, not the Microsoft no, men, not the Scorpio the men! Guy. We're the no, Joy-Con no, men! Like Joy <laughs> yeah, that is Attica. Oh no! What up, Erica? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, no actual offense. This is all a joke. It's a parody. I'm just making satire. Don't oh, no worry. I'm not actually attacking you or anything like that. You've always been a cool dude, it? man. I'm always fucking What's with you, man. But damn it! <laughs> I caught you at the wrong the time. Shot? I caught him at the wrong the first time. Game, boy. How did you not finish this? <laughs> I, I, I thought I did. No, I got it. Should I do it, dude? I was so fast. Should I do it, dude? What's Money. up, Erica? Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the mention, so Erica. I oh mean, no! Did I do it too? He's playing the Xbox! Joseph's our amigo guy. Oh my god, look! No, I can't do it. He's a friend. Oh, wait, Fish yeah. are oh, friends, not food. What's <laughs> I can't up, do it. Erica? No, I can't do it. Erica, He's my friend. I, how do I betray a friend? He's been so nice to me. We've had such cool interactions. To smite his existence as a Joy-Con boy? I catch him playing X-Bone? Type of one, if I should smite him. Type of two, if we should give him a pass. What does the chat think I should do? Retro, where's Retro? Retro, I need your help. My, my hand, it, it won't stop. No, damn it. No, damn it. He's a Joy-Con boy. Who? Where's the chat? No. No, damn it. Where's Young Retro? Uh, I can't stop it. The beast. It, uh, 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 no. Uh, 
The power! <laughs> Did I build this monster? No! Uh, Tatakai! Uh, uh, Tatakai! Nami wa! Osoro ka wa! Don't do it! Oh. Okay, the power subsided. Oh, okay. <sighs> Thankfully, the energy it it rested. So therefore, there's no, there's no need to smite. It just it got out of hand for a second, you know what I mean? Literally out of hand. <sighs> Attic was trying to jerk off. No, that wasn't what that was, you perverts. Nico Yazawa. Thank you for the sponsorship. <sighs> no. No. He gets a pass, damn it. He's been a dedicated Joy-Con boy, and I am not about to, to ignore that. No, he's been faithful to us. Listen, if I just turned coat and eviscerated every single person who suddenly was playing a different console when I catch them streaming, it's just, I've never... You guys already know what the deal is with me. I've not raided someone in so long. A lot of streamers nowadays, I mean, no offense, but it's just, I, I don't really watch a lot of live streamers as is right now. My Content creators, yeah, but man. It's just, oh, hold on, Graham. Thank you, oh, $50 coming in from Graham saying, I love your streams, my dude. Hope to see more. Most of the streams you do don't work with my busy schedule. But I can always try any streams that I can. Here's to a good 2018, my guy. Thank you very much, Graham. Um, yeah, I, you know what? There's no schedule. And in 2018, there will be even less of a schedule. But you know what? Things will still go down. I appreciate your presence and everyone else who's in here having a good time. But in terms of OE1, it's just I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I destroyed him <laughs> off of an Xbox <laughs> stream. No, damn it. I'm out here looking like Reggie right now <laughs> as the Dorkon men. I can't. But you know what? Hopefully, he will find the light. <laughs> the light of guidance will be will be <laughs> it will be put upon his soul so that way he comes back to the nintendo side he was probably playing nintendo games earlier in the stream anyways and i just didn't see it at the time it's just okay you know what? it's fine let's see if there's any other interesting content creators that are streaming on this wonderful platform right now and see if we can help with their numbers <laughs> let's see what's up we're gonna look at who's live right now nigga and we're just going to um Give Obi-Wan a pass. Who else is streaming right now? Typical Gamer. He's someone who's actually a part of my YouTube network. I remember meeting him in real life years ago. 2014. Yeah. He's got a lot of Grand Theft Auto stuff going on. But I guess he's playing this um, Battle Royale Fortnite. What is Fortnite? Is this the new... Um, <coughs> what is it? Is this a game like uh, CSGO? Or some Overwatch type shit? Damn, 6 million subscribers, dude. Jesus Christ. 9,000 viewers. The nigga is balling with the views right now. But I don't know what kind of game this is, dogs. It's... Okay, so let me see here. I'm going to observe it right now. I'm not going to talk. I'm going to watch and see. What is Fortnite? As a Joy-Con man... I will watch. I'm not going to eviscerate. I'm not going to do any dumb shit. I am going to watch. It's looking at you. It's winking at you. Oh my god. As a Joy-Con man. Oh bro, there's so much. So this game is a shooter? Okay. What do you do in the shooter, pray tell? Shoot niggas. Go Mank, thank you. Give me a s Go Mank, I said <laughs> Joy Con men? <laughs> Y'all are really spamming that shit? Oh my goodness. No sniper for me. No sniper. No okay. Sniper, so I'm watching this and I'm seeing it's it's a shooter. Twenty-five rockets, you best believe. Your boys I'm so biased. 
do you understand how difficult it is for me to see us like it, it oh you build stuff in the shoot it's like a minecraft shooter just without the pixelation pixelization whatever you call it okay i'm trained in high explosives that's kind of cool you just build environmental stuff around you and you just run on it as you as you okay that's kind of cool i like it it looks kind of clean I don't know much about it though, so I can't really judge. Okay, so that's typical I'm right there. Out. He's the highest streamer on here right now, the biggest um, person streaming on YouTube gaming. So let's now check out the smallest. What do you think the smallest person streaming on YouTube gaming is going to be doing right now? As we kill time until later on when we do the questionable stuff. Hold on, before we continue though, we have a donation coming in from sixty nine dollars, and that was uh from who did that one? Who did sixty nine dollars just now? Who was that from, bro? No, no, I gotta go back into the stream log so I can see. Uh, where was that from? Where's that from? I'm a little bit drunk right now. I'm a little, 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 little. That was from Goldman. Hold on, my boy Adrian came through with the donation. What did he say to me? Let me find your donation, man. Goldman, Goldman, Goldman. Uh, where the fuck is that shit? Where the fuck is? Another one? Karma Fields? Slush and I are both <coughs> releasing music on the same label. You niggas are in cahoots. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Now here's something crazy. I don't know what kind of shit these boys are on. Hold on a second. Joy-Con men? My boy got the- Hey, hold on a second. Joy-Con men! We men out here. You see me looking professional, boy? Hold on a second. You see the blazer? The blazer? Looking clean as fuck? We men! Hold on. You see the watch? I know, I know, I know the la Hey, listen. The ladies love when you got a nice watch piece. When you can do one of these, the ladies be like, Ooh, my god what a stud it's like yo joy con men hold on a second this is really gonna be a trend right now niggas in the oh maybe yeah you niggas gonna be in the blazers bro we men out here i see you my boy look at this nigga <coughs> ladies ladies two joy con men ready for order you see what i'm talking about but <laughs> you see the watch you see how the watch looks it's bang <laughs> I'm telling you, don't sleep on it. Get you a nice watch, a nice blazer. Look like a man, a Joy-Con man. Let's go, baby. He's got the right idea. Let me see. We looking like Reggie out here, boy. Dogs, I'm walking into a Nintendo event like... <laughs> They're going to be like, who's that? <laughs> and then Bill Trenton will be like, that's the Joy-Con man. You don't know? <laughs> like, nigga, you don't know? You need to get it together. Hold on a second. Get it together in any kind of weather. My mom bought me this cup. You know what this cup says? I don't need Google. My mother knows everything. <laughs> mom, I love your ass. <laughs> Thank you for sending me this cup for Christmas. Ah. Ah. Nigga. <laughs> Girls love a wet chest, right? Obviously, <laughs> I know the ladies like it. <laughs> Listen, don't front, y'all. Y'all be fronting, ladies. Be why are these ladies be fronting out here, acting like they don't like a clean cut man? <laughs> like, I know y'all like that. You like that shit? I'm looking clean out here. My boy's looking clean. Look at this nigga. He's looking clean with that joy con. Get out of here. Playing games with me, hard to get, ha ha, cat and mouse chase. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I know what it is. Don't fool me. I know the game. <laughs> I've played it. I've seen it. I've experienced it. It's all good. The Archer, love that big dick. <laughs> Nigga, what? I didn't. My dick is not. My shit isn't visible. I, I'm wearing my thick underwear. You can't see anything. You can't see shit, man. Yo, you just making me. I, I used to have underwear that are like really. You could see the whole outline. Niggas could see the crown of my penis, but you can't see that anymore. Clearly. Stop fucking with me, man. I'm wearing my good underwear. Wait, let me put this eggnog back in the fridge, man. What the fuck is going on? Hold on. Okay. Now, nah, boys. Like I said. The biggest streamer on YouTube gaming right now is this man, um, Pike. No, was it? Was it? No, typical gamer, not Pike. Ugh. Pike is another guy in broadband TV, but typical gamer is the biggest streamer on YouTube gaming right now. So you know what? We're gonna refresh the page one more time. Um, let me go back to it real quick, and we're going to see who is now the smallest streamer. 
Now let's scroll all the way down. Let's see who it is, what they're doing. Oh, never mind. Wow, there's only... How many people are streaming on YouTube right now? My really? Dick. It's a Friday night. My Yo, Ultra Instinct Warrior. Warrior. War Ultra Instinct Warrior. I'm just going to call you Warrior, nigga. Fuck all that Ultra, Ultra Instinct thing. What do you think you are, Goku, nigga? No. Okay. Let me catch my breath. I was just wilding just now. I had to get my penis in check. Uh, Ultra Instinct Warrior says, Yo, this is my first time donation. And my nigga, you better show us some fuck shit. That's the only part I see of your donation right there. You can see it on the stream. There's a bunch of yeahs going up there right now. Look, man. All I'm saying to you is that maybe you don't want to see the fuck shit. I've had streams in the past where people are like, why would you do this? It's extremely controversial content. Don't, I don't want to see this. Like, Mike, I had parents message me and say to me, my kid doesn't need to engage with the kind of content that you're promoting. And I understand that, which is why I'm giving you the chance. I let you guys know, like, maybe 30 minutes ago, hey, shit's going to get kind of fucked up later on, you know? And you see the kind of topic it is. Let me just refresh your memory in case you don't remember. Hold on, another $50 donation coming in from who mr <laughs> what's wrong one mr shenanigans saying it looks like i'm fresh on the motherfucking block here donating for the first time so many first time niggas donating to me thank you holy shit where the fuck did you come from as a matter of fact wait a minute what's up with our subscriber growth right now i need to see this shit where we are right now okay we've gained a thousand forty four subscribers today what the fuck nigga Look at this chart. It kind of, it goes from, we were gaining 800 a day, 700, 600, 700, 800, 1,000, this, I don't know what the fuck I did this day, man. Maybe I showed my penis by accident or something. But I mean, it seems like every day that I managed to show my genitalia, it pulls in more fucking subscribers. I don't know why, but hey, I'm not going to complain with it. The algorithm supports it. Therefore, nigga, I'll do it. Whatever. You want to see dick meat? You come over here, you see that dick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fuck. I, I don't know how. Listen, you can't ban me. Niggas on YouTube can't give me a copyright strike. No motherfucking community guidelines. I'm in a fucking suit. We aren't boys out here. Listen, can I get a Joy-Con men? That way, whoever the hell comes in on the stream as a moderator or whatever, all they're gonna see is a bunch of motherfuckers talking about Joy-Con men and a nigga in a suit. That's all they're gonna see. And when they come in here, they're gonna be like, what's the problem? We don't see any questionable content, but we see a questionable donation coming in for the only one that <laughs> Oh god! Oh my god! Only one just came through, bro. Oh god! <laughs> Damn it! My boy, only one came through. What did you guys say to him? What did you do to him? Why do we have eighteen thousand viewers and nigga donated to me? Obviously, you guys must have done something fucked up. I told you not to do anything fucked up to him. Obi says, "What's up, boy? What's I'm your boy, Obi. I'm your boy." I'm that boy. I'm your boy. Come on, man. I hope I hope these knuckleheads, these Joy-Con men, didn't do anything to fuck your shit up, man. I was joking. Look, I, I wasn't going to do it. it. Like I can pretend now, but back when the energy was there, I forced my hand to go down, so nothing was going to happen, Obi. <sighs> Y'all boys, you better not be ruining my reputation. This is why I can't get a nice girlfriend. Y'all motherfuckers be ruining my reputation. These girls be scared of me. They be like, oh, he's that psychopath that loses his mind on stream YouTube. <laughs> we ain't fucking with him. We don't want none of that dick. It's like, ladies, I'm a good, I'm a Joy-Con man. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. Your boy ain't got no trouble with the ladies. I'm just doing that to make you feel some sort of empathy towards me as a human being because I have similar struggles to other individuals out there who have trouble trying to find a soulmate. I understand. I'm playing around though. Anyways, guys, thank you, Obi. Obi, listen, man. I don't just just give me the confirmation. Nothing crazy happened. We good, all right? All I'm saying is that the boys are out here right now. Y'all are on wild mode. I don't want y'all to get too rambunctious though. We gotta find the smallest streamer on YouTube. Oh my god, how many donations are we gonna- You niggas are really out here like this? I see a 1 and a 5. I think that's a 150. <laughs> Blackwing K saying a small gaming streamer right here. And he gave me a link on YouTube. But listen, you know what, man? I don't even- God damn it, man. I raised the minimum to $50 and niggas are donating now. $50, they're backed up. The $50 donations are backed up. Oh. Okay, you know what, Blackwing, you know what, let's just see. I'm curious now. I remember those days. Listen, don't treat me like I'm some kind of big wig ass nougat. I, I, look, 
my YouTube channel, professionally speaking, isn't even all that old, okay? 2017, 18, I started it back in 2012. Not as old as some of the OGs, right? Even though my original channel was made in 2007, I still didn't do it professionally until 12. So, I mean, I've been there. I know what it feels like to be a small YouTuber. Now, the difference when I was a small YouTuber, I didn't suck dick to get places, okay? I have the same mentality as I did back then as I do now in, some, in a lot of ways. So trust me, your man ain't got his head above the clouds. He's on a motherfucking cloud, living on a whole nother level, on a G6, flying through the skies, living his life, nigga, no. I got the same, I'm thinking the same shit. I'm reading the same porn that I was reading back then. Now, I'm me. It's me, nigga, just Etika. So you know what? You know what, Blackwing K? A lot of people are going to be donating, asking me to check out channels after this. And it's like, it's not because, I'm not ignoring those because I'm just a big YouTuber. A small YouTuber would ignore it. A bunch of people were like, oh yeah, check this guy out, check this guy out. He'd be like, what the fuck? But... K for you, Kai, K, Key, whatever the fuck you want to pronounce your name as, I'll check your link out. One time, one time, K, I'll check your link out if I can find your fucking donation in this list of this ocean of contributors, donators, motherfucking supporters on the channel. This is our ocean, my boy. Look at, you see me scrolling this? Look, look on the top of the screen right there. You see that shit right there? You see, you see, oh, let me stop. You see that shit right there? That's where the fucking donations are coming in. And I'm scrolling through this list trying to find this motherfucker. I don't know where the hell he is. Yo, Bugman with $50. He says you should raid. You know what? I called it. Niggas are going to be like, oh, Etika, you check out this guy. Check out that guy. I ain't checking out none of the fucking channels that you guys send me, all right? Nobody got time for that. You don't want to watch me doing that. That shit is not entertainment. That shit is fucking boring. You want to see some crazy shit. And I got you. But you, just for just for novelty purposes, just for, you know, K, Blackwing, I've seen his ass in here before. Just because he donated a lot, he, he really wanted, he had power behind that shit. So you know what? I'll entertain it just a little bit, man. I'm curious now, what the fuck is up? Your boy better be ready for me, because the Joy-Con men are coming in. We're coming in. I got my motherfucking suit on. It's 12 a.m., boys. I don't know if you're prepared for this shit, okay? This is, this is a stream which may not be on par with previous streams. We're just gonna see what the fuck happens, okay? I usually have music playing in the background. There's no tunes, nigga. I could make tunes right now. As a matter of fact, might as well. Let's put on some music, nigga. At the end of the day here, all I want is motherfuckers to have a good time. I'm having a good time too. So hey, we out here. Bugman, thank you for the donation. I'm looking for this man Blackwing. Where's you at? I'm searching for you, boy. Where you at? Where you at, boy? I don't know. Dude, I don't know how people navigate this. Streamlabs gotta get their shit on point, man. I know I can't be the only one who gets, like, a bunch of community donations like this. There has to be other- Doesn't Dr. Disrespect- <laughs> Dr. Disrespect his wife. <laughs> Nigga, I'm fucked up. That's not a joke to make. I shouldn't be laughing at that. But Dr. Disrespect, he gets a lot of donations and shit too, right? Well, how did they not fix this problem for him? Um... Where's your donation at though? Hotsma with $50. That's my nigga right there. He says, turn up music for a silent stream. This soundtrack is too damn merch. Uh, dude, I can't, I can't. I can't, my boy. I really want to look at that. But I'm trying to find one link right now and I find another link and I got to connect those links together, nigga. I don't know what's going on, nigga. Fuck, I'm fucked up right now. Hold on, let me just find this man. Where's Blackwing? Blackwing, where you at, boy? I'm trying to find you. Uh, I don't even know where the fuck this nigga is. Fifty dollars. Okay, did he donate fifty dollars? I think he donated fifty dollars. He donated fifty dollars. Yeah. Okay, Ultra Instinct. Um, there we go. No, he donated one hundred and fifty. Jesus Christ, my bad, bro. Okay, here we go. I found the channel that he linked me to. But let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So what's going on? What's this guy doing? What's he playing? The um, Trials of Cold Steel. I remember my ex had that game. Didn't really get to see her play it, but. My dick! My dick! Does he seriously have that many subs? I know he has a ton, but. <laughs> What's up? Okay, so he's playing this game. I always. I was curious about this game. I just didn't know how it played. Well, I have, like, a. If Nightbot. Nightbot has a, a five second, like. If this dude is AJ Rich. Spam, so I apologize. Nightbot's scheduled to do that. Now, you see, that's the thing, man. You guys know damn well that I don't play games. 
in that in that fashion in a way not exactly it's like uh it's hey listen keep doing your thing man obviously you love what you do keep doing your thing but be open to change your format to match the environment but then again that's something that you got to be passionate about so i don't know diabolical benefactor with 55 55 saying you thought raising the minimum would slow us down i thought it would don't you guys take our hint <laughs> jesus christ y'all boys are wild as fuck man mr shenanigans with 50 dollars dude the fucking previous donation from you literally just got fucking endorsed he says yo you fool um, cower, cower before my generous contribution to your tomfoolery and nincompoopery. I'm going to be using that from now on. Diabolical, thank you for introducing a new word into my vocabulary to describe the antics that we engage in on a regular basis whenever I start up a live stream. I appreciate that, man. I'll see your ass later on. He says, ha, 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 He says, um, uh, uh, oh, wait, no, never mind. There was more of that shit. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> it look like I'm juggling balls in my mouth, nigga. Fuck. Uh, Mr. Shenanigans saying, yo, you didn't read the rest of my donation, but I am a Joy-Con man from the old days of Smash Brothers leaks in Western New York. So, if you are ever in Rochester, hit me up. I used to have a lot of boys in Rochester, rapping heads, motherfucking freestyle battle rap artist type niggas who used to go in, boy. All I'm saying is, you don't want the Iceman to cometh. Because <laughs> when I come, I come, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys you know what i'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick it's around how many viewers do we have right now did they drop we still have seventeen thousand viewers man what the fuck is this can some of you guys go to bed as a matter of fact i know a lot of you guys are gonna dip once why is it when streamers say they're gonna go to the bathroom people dip it's like a lot of people are just waiting for the guy to take a break so what if i never went to the bathroom you know how i just said i'm gonna go to the bathroom as a matter of fact no I don't feel like taking a restroom break anymore. Are you going to stay around? Were there people that dip because they heard me say it in the first place? What's up? What's up? I'm like, I don't have to take a piss. I'll piss my pants now. Let's see what you guys got to say about that. I'm tired of these status quos. Why are one things one way and things another way? It's not like I'm trying to say, oh, I don't like my viewers go down. I honestly don't give a fuck. I play Jake Paul just to make people leave my stream so I can do fucked up shit later on that night. Trust me. I don't give a fuck how many viewers are in here. The point of it all is the status quo, the standard, the, the man, the setting. I want to fuck with it. I want to fuck with it. I want to mess with the fucking, with, with the way things should be, how they usually are. So you know what? How about this? I'm curious to see, and I'm not doing this for the viewers, because like I said, don't really give a fuck. I want to see, is it possible that a, a streamer gets up, goes to the bathroom, and comes back with more viewers than they ever, than they had when they first went? Has that ever happened to a streamer before? More viewers when they come back than when they left. It's always the other way around. I'm the, I, don't think, I don't think we'll be able to break it because it's just a universal law that streamers do that. I've never seen a stream do that before. I don't know if ours will, but hey, whatever. I'm curious. Wait, hold on. I gotta see how many viewers we got first. Okay, hold on. 1764? Okay, whatever. Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, hold on, let me get some lotion for the lips. Okay, okay, we're good. Now, me asking a challenge of you like that, it's similar to asking a person to hold their breath for 10 minutes. It's not physically possible. It, 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 I was just curious to see if you could break the limits, but you know, clearly, you all have, you have your limits. So therefore, I respect those limits. As a person who kind of takes liberty in breaking the standards that are set upon him, you know, I was curious, but it's all good. T68 says, yo, if you want to pass the time, listen to this song. The beat is insane. Yo, Chief. You know, man, you've been donating here for a long time. I appreciate the shit, obviously. But... Right now isn't really the time, my boy. Well, you know what? I'm going to save the link. I'll pin it to the side that way so I have it on, to save later. Okay, so now we are back in the stream. 
and it is around 12 10 a.m currently december 30th one day left until the new year is upon us my boys right now you can't see it but in times square there are fucking hundreds of police officers snipers on top of roofs taking sight waiting for the next nigga that would try they want to ensure everybody's going to be safe and you know what even though i don't know if it'll be on this channel per se I'm going to be at the damn fucking ball drop or whatever. I'm going to be right there to ring in the new year on the East Coast. And I welcome you all to join me. This dude, I got a DM just now. I don't even realize, I, I didn't even realize I got a DM until just now. But, um, 11, wait, then again, why would I realize? I just got it. So, um, 11th Path 93 with $69. He says, what is up, man? First time donating to anyone, anyone on YouTube. I've been watching you since your Mewtwo reaction video. Thank you, man. That video was cringe as fuck whenever I watch back on it. And, this, and you know, it's me saying it. I'm the cringe master. But it, it, it helped to make me who I am. I respect it. it. Looking at that video, it's quite clear how the streams have changed over time. But I re you know what? That video is always going to be part of this channel. It's always going to be memorable. That's why I have the... My dick! I can't even replicate the way I said it. That's how excited I was back then. But in terms of the actual stream... Now... I got an interesting DM coming from a certain individual that you all might know, okay? Maybe you don't know. I mean, now here's the thing. I'm not doing this for clout coins or a way to brag or boast or whatever. It's not about that. But I'm only doing this because it's like, hey, maybe this will be something interesting to do when um, New Year's goes down. Since I can't do it myself, this nigga probably might be able to. I'm going to head to my Twitter right now so you can see where the DM is coming from. Now, I don't know if I should show this per se, but hey, as a matter of fact, wait a minute. I got seven new DMs. Who the fuck messaged me? Who the fuck messaged me? Oh, Obi-Wan, yo, thank you once again, bro. I appreciate that donation. He came through heavy. He just said to me, yo, Etika, man, I just donated $100 to you. Um, I hope you got it. Thanks for the mention, dude. If you watch Obi Wan, maybe he didn't see me see the maybe he didn't see me see the hundred dollar. Let him know that I got it hundred percent, and I appreciate it. He's such a good friend on here, a big time supporter. I I love watching his videos too. So Obi, keep it up, man. I'm glad to see you continue to soar. And by the way, congratulations on your daughter being in college at 13 years old. I wish, I wish I had the brains for that shit. How the fuck you got a college degree at the age of 15? She probably will have a degree by then, man. Her fucking big ass brain. He saw it, Obi-Wan. Wait, what the fuck? Nigga in the chat said, fuck that Obi-Wan fucker. Why fuck him? He's cool. He's cool. He's cool, dudes. Um, <laughs> niggas are sending me some crazy shit on Twitter right now. All right. Now, into wait, I got to treat my boy? Let's leave that one to the side, okay? I'm not looking at that DM, okay? I'm looking at something else. I'm trying to see something else. Okay, so here we go. Uh, oh, okay, that nigga messaged me. He said, oh, oh, I don't know how far you are from Times Square, but if you want to smoke or anything, I'm down. Oh! Okay, my bad, man. I didn't realize that this nigga hit me up for that. I thought he was hitting me up in terms of the party. Oh, okay. I don't know how far you are from Times Square, but if you want to smoke or anything, I'm down. Damn, I don't know if I would have time now. By the time I finish streaming, that, that nigga Ice was signing me up. By the time I finish streaming, I don't know, man. I, we'll see. There's still a lot of things for us to do, but hey, man, we'll link up probably tomorrow or some shit if you have the time. Just let me know what your schedule is. Just, I gave, did I give you my phone number or some shit, nigga? Just call me, and I'll let you know, man. But um, leading into probably tomorrow. Wait, today's... Wait, no, I mean today. Today's the 30th of December ice i'll probably be down to chill or some shit today i got a nigga who can get us a connection he has like a vape pen the boy's the boy's crazy that shit's gonna be wild nigga yo i don't like smoke i don't like doing that nigga. <laughs> okay nigga. okay anyways in terms of that stuff being done now boys now boys i think it's time for things to get a little bit serious so here's what it is i see i see how things filter down a lot of you guys are here and you want to see the fucked up shit. You want to see me suffer, huh? Tell me this, by a show of hands. One, you want to see the fucked up shit. You're not thrown off by the subject material. You're not a bitch nigga. You ain't a snitch nigga. You just want to see a nigga get fucked up. One. Two, oh, Etika, don't look at that shit. Oh no, I can't stand you seeing this cringy fucking disturbing shit. <laughs> 
you know, I should wait until 1 a.m. I should wait until 1 a.m. Honestly speaking, I know. Listen, my European boys, my UK boys, Germany boys, Paris boys, my French boys are going to be like, yo, you son of a bitch. Why do you torture me like this? You do a live stream at fucking, what, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., European time? Why would you do this? I know. I'm fucking you up. If you're in Japan, it's even worse. But you have to understand that it's my in my time zone, it's not that late. So that's the reason why I do it. I wouldn't do a stream at 5 a.m. Eastern time, but in the East Coast, it's 12. So that's the reason why I do these streams super late. Jens Graham is one of those European people who just doesn't really see my streams on an active basis like that. If you're a European guy, I apologize. I do send you a legitimate apology because my streams are just not meant for you. The timing is too fucked up. You're going to wake up in the morning, go to your job and be dead. And it's, it's like, I feel bad about that. But it's part of the struggle. It's part of the challenge, man. I feel like that's part of the endearing nature of the stream. The fact that it can happen at any time. And it goes as late as anyone can imagine, at least, you know, on the East Coast practical time speaking you know what i mean so i think out of all of us right now if you're from europe if you're someone who is in one of those crazy time zones in comparison to the east coast where it's like super late before we continue give those european boys australian boys motherfucking asian boys a round of applause for rocking out with me in the deepest darkest cracks of the asshole of the night you guys are the true fucking warriors. Because everyone else is out here and it's like, hey, 12, 1 a.m. It's late night. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can beat my willy. No. Them boys, they're out here fucking fighting zombies. So, props. Thank you. I don't think I've given you guys the proper recognition you deserve. My Germany boys, but I'm doing so now. Thank you. Now, in terms of the actual thing we're going to do. Let me make sure that this... Okay, so we're going to read down this list a little bit. A little, little bit. This was an old list. It's made in 2014, but it's one of the first things that popped up. Um, Hammerheart came through again with $50. He says, hey, nigga, I am a Joy-Con... I, I, I'm a fucking Joy-Con Aussie man. Oh, no, a Aussie Joy-Con man. I don't care when we do some shit. And also, you missed my first donation link. Drank. Wait, what the fuck is this? You know what? Let's take a look real quick. Hold on a second. What? Nani? Yo. You're not about to finish that whole bottle, nigga. This nigga's a man! He's a man! He's a man! Hold on a second, boy. Wait a minute. <laughs> he had the tie on! Oh, shit. My bad. I did not realize I, I intruded upon such sacred ground. How the fuck he showed me up on the Joy-Con men? Wow. That's impressive. I'll admit, you kind of caught me there. That, okay, you know, is there a suit and tie emote in the chat? What you boys? I'm seeing people wilding out on Twitter right now. Clearly, you dudes are on a whole nother. It's a Friday night, though. I ain't surprised. As a matter of fact, I'm expectant of this. This is the kind of shit that I want to see. I like this. And so, you know what, boys? I'm gonna give it until 1 a.m. 1 a.m. and we can get into the fucked up shit. We have 18,000 viewers right now. What else better do you have to do? Maybe you can go and get your ass to bed or something. Get you a motherfucking blanket. Even a little nap time or whatever like that, man. Like, come on. Why don't, why don't you just... <sighs> you know what? This is going to be a lot of the boys that are in the stream right now. Niggas are going to be out here. Listen. No, no, no. Don't complain. I know everyone's like, oh, Etika, why are you... Don't, don't, don't do it. You stalling. Stall, boys. Oh, Etika, man. You got to stop with all this bullshit. You always delay things. Stop being a stally nigger. You know what? Why don't you, why don't you grab that blanket? You see this? Grab the blanket, put it over your body, and get your bitch ass to bed. 
<laughs> you snoring and shit. You snoring loud as fuck. And I don't know if you snoring or if you sucking dick, nigga. But hey, we don't, we we don't need those. We ain't about those, okay? I, I, yo, I'm speaking for the Europe boys too. Listen, I know you have it harder than everybody else does, but you know what? You want me to be easy on you? you want me to give you a little bully rub and pat your head and tell you everything's gonna be okay with a little? No, you get the same treatment everyone else does. We don't discriminate over here, man. I don't care how hard you got it. But one thing I do care about is how niggas are out here repping those men. I see you. I see you, dude. Looking, look, I love how y'all got the Joy-Cons in the picture. You, you got the Joy-Cons. Why are we all looking like Reggie Fisame right now? With the damn shit in hand, we all looking like this right now. Niggas are looking clean as fuck with the fucking Switch right. Okay, maybe I can. We looking clean. We looking clean. Just playing the damn Switch suit on. Yo, I like it. I like it, bro. <laughs> I think it's so cool. It's so clean, man. Trust me. All the ladies will be like, oh, you're so, oh look at him. He's, a, he's, he's, he's modeled out. Yes, I am, motherfucker. You want a piece? You want a piece? Oh, man. Okay. Boys, there's some more for us to do. There's some more for us to talk about. I had some more subjects out here. And this is one that's going to be controversial because it's not a laughing matter. It's not something that we can sit at and poke fun. This is fucking serious as a heart attack. And, I, and it involves me too. Although, thankfully, not actively involves me, but in terms of my career, what I do, how I'm out here with you right now, what I'm about to talk to you guys about threatens the entire fabric of us in a live stream as we speak. Thank God I live where I live, where the subject material is actually not that possible for me. But there's other people out there who experience it and their lives are ruined. And we've seen the worst of the worst of it now. I'm curious to see if you guys in the chat can guess what I'm about to talk to you about. Because once we bring it up, man, if you have not seen it yet, if you've seen it, then you know what's up. And it's not net neutrality. No, fuck that. Far more serious than, well, you know, it's. it depends on how you look at it. But Freedom64 is back, he says, Time to ring in the new year, my boy. Thank you for the laughs this year. Um, and he sent me a video. Thank you, man. I'm going to be checking that out in a second. Yep, I'm seeing a lot of you guys say it. It's swatting. And unfortunately, the worst has happened. The part of swatting, which we all were hoping would not go down, went down. Someone was killed in a swatting incident. 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 That's the alcohol talking. Forgive me for that bullshit, okay? But it's crazy. Wait, no, no, wait. this isn't it. <laughs> wait a minute, okay, never mind. My bad. <laughs> this isn't it. I fucked up. Police can't stop you from partying anymore. You can be as loud as you want in New York City and niggas can't stop you. That's a fun topic all on its own, but that's not the topic of discussion. We're supposed to be serious right now. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> Wrong link. Actually, this was the link to someone who died during a swatting incident. I, why would I fuck that shit up? How did I fuck that shit up? Oh, God almighty. No, no, we're being serious, okay? Oh, wait, hold on, Hotsmo with 50 again. He says, you know how during um, Irma, you told me that I should write. Well, the book is about a talking cat with a chainsaw gun blade, not Sonic. He runs... He cuts up Dr. Anchovez, not Eggman, robots. Thanks for the motivation. It's fun. Hold on. Now, I was never much of a writer myself. You could tell from Doki Doki, literature ain't my thing. However, the fact that you turned my advice into something that you actually enjoy for yourself and you're making liter literary works out of it. Hey, listen, if you ever become a great book writer, I hope you list me in the back of that bitch as inspiration, okay? If you have a fucking publishing contract, then you know what? I want a piece of the pie. Put me in there. Put my face in there. I'll, I'll take up one page and I'll just be like, <laughs> and that's it. Okay? That's all I need from you. Thank you, my friend. Listen, Hatsma, I missed your last donation in terms of like reading the whole damn thing. Or did I save the link? Don't remember. But I really appreciate it. Thank you, man. But now in terms of getting back to the topic at hand, someone has sent this to me. 
and I really wanted to read this on stream. I didn't know the details of it, except for what was in the title. I know you aren't a news channel, but I would like to hear your thoughts on this. Police kill, let me actually pull the whole thing up right now. An innocent man after a swatting prank leads them on a false raid. Now, I don't know what has prevented me from experiencing that, considering how many other content creators are out there that have to deal with this bullshit from people, whether it be raids or, you know, people like, whatever it may be, calling up stores that they go into. Now, I'm not an IRL streamer, but the thing is, it's not exclusive to that category of content creator. There can be people who are streaming from the comfort of their own home in their underwear and socks, and the police bust through the door, guns pointed right at that person's head and heart, ready to kill them at a moment's notice. I mean, we've seen how the police can be. Wasn't there an incident earlier where a guy was killed in a hotel room? No, it wasn't even a room. It was in the fucking lobby. No, it was in the hallway right next to his room. Shot his ass dead. I mean, granted, he didn't comply with the police orders, but they wanted him to do some crazy shit anyways. They were like, oh, yeah, put your hands on top of your head and, and motherfucking wiggle your thighs like Shantae. I and mean, if it's a fucking degree off, we shoot you, you motherfucker. They murdered that kid. I think he was younger than me. And so we know how the police can be. When you swat someone, you're you're definitely putting their lives at risk. I mean, we joke, we meme, I get it. That's the culture of the internet. Trust me, I respect, love, and embrace that culture the same as anyone else. I understand its importance in terms of freedom and us being able to express ourselves. And I would never one day in my life restrict the things you can say on the internet the expression you can have on the internet because I feel like it's that freedom which makes it a beautiful place to be. And if it was ever destroyed, I don't know if I would ever recover from that. But along with that freedom, there's a lot of responsibility for fucked up shit that has to happen. And swatting is one of those things. The fact that we can now say for the first time that an innocent man was killed thanks to a swatting incident Maybe there will actually be some significant jurisdiction or some kind of some kind of legal action that's done against this because I don't even want let, let's see what the details are. I'm just talking about the general topic right now. Some of you guys might have seen this earlier, but this is relevant to us. Someone could swap me right now, have police bust through the door. I could get killed right here on camera. They did it to this guy. I don't know. A Call of Duty few- Oh, it's, of course it's Call of Duty! God fucking damn it! I mean, really, of all games, it had to be COD, nigga. Led to one player to call the Kansas police to the home of another player. The address given was for the home of another man, though, who wasn't associated with the Yemen community. Police showed up to what they thought was a hostage situation. Shot and killed Andrew Finch, 28 years old, as he opened the door. The nigga was practically my age. I'm 27. So it could have been any of us. Now, let's see some more details, man. This is crazy. Officers are still at work. 28-year-old man is dead. They responded to a call that there were hostages. When officers arrived, they found nobody shot. Three to four people were in the home, safely taken downtown for interviews. When officers arrived, the 28-year-old came to the door and an officer shot him. Straight up at the door? So, now, if you don't comply with police commands when there's a serious situation with guns drawn, then yeah, you're probably going to get killed. You mean to tell me that this wasn't even like the guy who was in the hotel lobby or room or hallway? But the guy came through, opened the door, and they killed him? I don't know, man. Maybe it's because, you know what? Maybe I'm triggered. Or maybe it's because I'm a streamer. Maybe it's because I'm 27. But the fact that a young man goes to the door and is instantly robbed of his life thanks to a prank call, it's sick to me disgusting i mean granted maybe the person who did the swatting didn't know it would go that far and that's the thing so many of the trolls nowadays who pull off these things are completely oblivious to the actual harm that they can do or maybe they do know the harm they can do if you know the harm that a swatting can do and you still do it 
you're not a human. You are a monster. And you deserve to be put down like a rabid dog. And I'm not... And it's like saying that someone deserves death is an extreme statement. I know that. Trust me. It's like the worst thing that you can say because everyone deserves life. We're all here. We're able to breathe air, experience things. But people like that, there's some individuals that I will say deserve death. And if you are reckless enough, dumb enough, evil enough to call the police in a false swatting incident on someone, then yeah, maybe not death death per se but you deserve to be locked up for a long ass time and if they get killed you deserve to be killed too it's extreme but hey i'm calling it like it is because they don't understand the actual risk there they don't know what it's like to have a fucking gun pointed at you guess who does me nigga i just want to say right now that i greatly appreciate how you guys can be savages and who knows maybe people have tried to swap me in the past i mean i i'm i bet it's probably happened before thankfully nothing ever went through it's probably because the police in new york city don't give a fuck they don't get to the crime scene when the crime is happening they get there two hours after so if i ever was swatted while i was doing my irl streams back when i lived in a different neighborhood a while ago then hey Maybe they avoided me completely due to the delay that they always have with everything. But in other places, smaller neighborhoods, rural areas, it's not the same. When the sheriff gets a call, the one call he gets in like two weeks, he's going to grab that pistol, call the squad up, and run to that crib as fast as he can in the hopes of getting a fucking medal. And when they see a perp, they take that nigga down. You mean to tell me they killed this guy without even confirming if he was the fucking suspect in the first place? A community of online gamers said yesterday, the police shooting was a result of swatting. A feud, Call of Duty. Another awful thing about the death from the swatting in Kansas is that there are multiple reports that the man killed wasn't even a part of the dispute that prompted the swatting. Even if he was involved, it's an argument on Call of Duty. How does that go towards... Like justifying him getting murdered by police over a fucking prank call. Prank calls? Whatever happened to Battletoads? Lighthearted comedy. Oh, huh. hit up your GameStop. Call them niggas. Now it's hit up the police department. Murder that nigga. What the fuck is going on? I don't know, man. These niggas nowadays, if you, like, I would never do that shit. Listen, I'm not trying to say I'm holier than thou, you know, a better person than you are. Trust me, I'm not. But it's like, if you know someone can die, <laughs> usually you don't do it. Do you want this person to die? No. All we would do before is ask him for battle toads. You ain't hurting nobody with that shit. Call up a subway. Ask him for the fucking pizza. They made a pizza. Call up and ask him for a burger. That used to be funny to me. And now, I don't know, man. People, like, it's like the standard of entertainment, lulls. And, and comedy has gone so high now that someone's life has to be at risk literally all the time in order for people to actually enjoy it and get a laugh out of it because of how how insensitive people are now to extreme comedy. It's like those pranks. Pranks are no longer funny on YouTube anymore because we've seen it all. In order for a prank to be funny, now someone has to be literally on death's door. <laughs> um, JP, um, JP, I'm gonna call you JP, fuck that shit. He says it's 5 a.m. here, I can't sleep. I'm watching your stream instead, so good game. Thank you, man. I appreciate that shit. <sighs> Etika, the whole thing, the worst thing. Wait, I'm reading the chat right now. The worst thing is that it was over $1.50. You, my friend, whoever the hell wrote that comment, you have got to be niggering me in the asshole with a hot rod. A nigga died, thanks to police and swatting, for 50 cents. A dollar. You mean to tell me a nigga died for less than this? I don't know, man. Dumb shit. Dumb shit. But you know what? You gotta feed the machine. If it gets a laugh, fuck it. Who cares if a nigga dies? 
It's funny. <laughs> hey, listen, he gets his fucking head blown off. A mother loses her son. A daughter loses her father. A brother loses his, his best friend. A girlfriend loses her soulmate. But it's fucking funny. Because, hey, listen, at the end of the day here, it's all about the troll, nigga. Fuck it. Who cares, right? I don't care. Fuck it. Let a nigga die. It's funny. <laughs> hey, listen, nigga, nigga got fucking murdered. I don't know. Whoever can laugh at that, and I consider myself a pretty soulless motherfucker. Whoever legitimately laughs at that, holy shit. If there was a human being who derived a fucking moment of laughter from this evil, holy shit. You know what? I'll press that button to get my ass into the year 10,000 as soon as humanly possible. No regrets. I don't want to live on the planet with motherfuckers that laugh at shit like that. And if you're laughing right now, I, I, I regret to inform you. You need to get your fucking head checked. At the end of the day, even though I am one of those darker members of the internet, I always had a sense of empathy, a feeling, being able to put myself in someone else's shoes. I, get, I, I can't watch people be hurt like that. Not in an extreme, damaging, permanent way. A little nut busting, you know, hey, hey, you know what, niggas getting kicked in the nuts, that's hard for me to watch. It's like, ooh, I can't watch motherfuckers getting maimed, killed, murdered. It, it's too much. I can, I can watch it, but I can't watch it and derive entertainment. It's like, ugh, I don't know. I don't know. If you can, more power to you. Um, Hammerheart, with, he's saying it's fucking awful about this swatting shit. It's sad to hear about this, but here is my drank part two when you are done talking about this terrible situation. Thank you, man. I'm going to open that up right now, actually. What is this? What is this shit? He did it again? Did he pull his dick out? What? He said he sees niggas. Oh, you thought he was drinking water? He said he's about to disprove us. All right. Well, you know what, Hart? You're going to disprove us right now? You were drinking some real shit? Show us. Let me see. see niggas out here in this chat saying this shit is fake. My dick! The fucking My donation dick. ruined it, man. God damn it. Yo, Advanced Kid 2002 with $50 saying CX in the chat, boys. Why not? Let's I see hex nigga. <laughs> Let's do it. Fuck it. Why not, nigga? Is that nigga watching? Fuck it. All right, hold on a second. But I gotta see if this man Hammer is talking about. Okay, so what? Let's see. What's up? I see niggas out here in this chat saying this shit is fake. They're shitting on you. One, two. Let's go for round two. Okay. 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 Wait, what? My fucking... How'd my internet go out but the stream's still going? What the fuck? White guy saying nigga? I don't give a fuck. As long as he's making entertainment. Wait, let me see. Fucking Twitter. Why is Twitter video so retarded, man? It's like you can't get a fucking video to play for the life of you on here sometimes. Okay, let's see it again. I see niggas out here in this chat saying this shit is fake. Advanced kid, thank you. I hope we get that CX too. One, we need that. Two. Okay, here That's we go. Round two. Hammer, show me, bro. Niggas are doubting you. They're shitting on your life. Tell me what's up. Oh. He looks dead serious. Jesus, that second one was heavy. Ooh. Ooh. The boy got suspenders on? Joy-Con oh. men. Joy-Con men! Are you serious? Let's go! Don't doubt my boy. Don't, don't get it twisted. This nigga is my boy. This nigga... Is my boy! Don't shit on him. No, no, no. That's not appropriate. Boy, man, man, we are the men, okay? Come on, man. Niggas wanna doubt my boy. 
Niggas talking shit about my boy. But they ain't about my boy. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go. 2018 is about to be a crazy year for more reasons than one. We're on, we were on a dark topic with that whole swatting thing. I apologize if I made the mood a little more heavy than it should have gotten. I get a little passionate about that stuff because it obviously involves me, my income, my livelihood, and all that. And let me just say, thank you for not being fucking idiots and risking my death for the sake of a laugh. Thank you for valuing me as a human being and deciding, you know what? Let's just enjoy him for what he is, an entertainer, rather than let's see this nigga fucking die. I appreciate that shit. You have to be thankful for that now. Because with how savage the internet can be, I know damn well some of you guys probably would have done that shit. As a matter of fact, who knows? I probably probably got swatted. Like I said, police don't give a fuck over here. So you know what? Thank you, NYPD, for not giving a fuck about false calls and being so late in how you take action. You avoided me getting killed probably multiple times. you know, times. giving him props for all the years of but entertaining hey, content for... We're going to continue. Watch the drama. There's a drama alert interview? What? Really? An interview with who? <laughs> that thumbnail's... <laughs> that, inter that thumbnail is fucking ridiculous. Hold on a second. Drama alerts. Who the fuck did Keemstar interview? Six hours ago, he posted a video. What the fuck? What is up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's, Let's go. <laughs> Right into the news now guys normally we uh come go to the address of their enemy one of the teams dared the other team to go ahead and swat him he said please try some shit i'll be waiting posting this wow address. i'll have you in prison for five years buddy casey already gave me all the proof i need so once the other team got that address they didn't do the swatting themselves but they sent it to a known swatter a hacker who's been swatting Call of Duty pros and who has been putting in bomb threats to the what? last MLG event earlier this month. This dude is a, he's a beast. He's been doing this shit for fucking how long now? Someone who's just a repeating swatter, a habitual swatter. Bomb threats? SWAT calls on people's cribs? Streamers? Call of Duty profilers? What the fuck? They sent it to a swatter known as SWATast. And once SWATastic got this address, he called in a fake hostage situation to that address with the police. And when the police showed up, they shot and killed a 28 year old father who had a father nothing to do at all with this situation. It happened in Wichita, Kansas. Man dies after being shot by a Wichita officer investigating a possible homicide. The local news known as the Wichita Eagle interviewed the family to find out exactly what took place. Here is that interview. Roll it. I know I had seen the red and blue lights flashing in my window. I heard my son scream. I got up and then I heard a shot. And as I was walking by, this door was open. The police said, come out with your hands up. They took me, my roommate, and my granddaughter who witnessed the shooting and had to step over her dying uncle's body to come. They took us outside with no shoes on. They handcuffed us, you know. Why couldn't they? Yeah, they didn't call the ambulance until after he was dead. And what gives the cops the right to open fire? Why didn't they give him the same warning they gave us? I mean, that cop murdered my son over a false report in the first place. 
Yeah, you know, Andy, my son was not a gamer. He was not a gamer. No. So they, so they just knocked on the door and it was They that didn't way. knock on the door. My son opened it because he heard something. He screamed and then they shot him. This is so incredibly sad and unbelievable that this even happened. UMG, the website where the Call of Duty competitive match took place, put out this statement. We woke up this morning to the horrible news about an incident with a man losing his life. Our hearts go out to his loved ones. We will do everything we can to assist authorities in this matter. And get this, the swatter, the person that made the fake police call, he said this on Twitter. I didn't get anyone killed because I didn't discharge a weapon. And being a SWAT member isn't my profession. Un-fucking believable. Now, I could not believe that this hacker, swatter, or whatever wasn't taking any responsibility whatsoever. So we reached out to him, and we asked him if we could get an interview with him, and we did. And this is what the person that you told me you killed call that nigga, Keemstar! Said. Roll it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the alleged swatter on here. Uh, SWAT. Um, so you were involved in this swatting where the 28 year old man was shot and killed, correct? Um, allegedly, I was involved. Allegedly, I, well, you took responsibility on Twitter, and then your Twitter got suspended, right? Um, I changed my username. Someone took the username, and that username got suspended. My account never got suspended. Okay, so. What happened in this situation? You were playing a uh, competitive match. I was, minding, I was minding my own business at the library. Someone contacted me and said, hey, dude, this fucking retard just gave me his address, and he thinks nothing's going to happen. Uh, you want to you know, prove him wrong? And I said, sure. I love swatting kids who think that nothing's going to happen. And then uh, I followed the kid that he wanted me to swat, and the kid that he wanted me to swat sent me a DM saying um he basically messaged me with an address saying uh well i'm waiting for you to do something pussy this and that and then um you know uh an attempt was made to swat that address so you you swat at that address correct sure right. okay so you swat at the address you put in the the fake hostage situation correct yep and then this guy gets killed that's what happened, I guess. And you said I mean, you s you said this on Twitter. You said I didn't get anyone killed because I didn't discharge a weapon, and being on a SWAT uh, a SWAT member isn't my profession. So do you, do you I take that. right? Do you take any responsibility for what happened? Um, the argument can be made that the police would have never showed up if I didn't make the call. However, um, I don't believe that I'm the only guilty party involved in this whole. Did I just hear that shit correctly? Did he really just say he's not the only guilty party? Did I really just hear that shit correctly? Considering I was contacted and, um, you know, it almost instructed to swat and taunted to swat an address. I mean, of course, if that doesn't mean you have to do it. You want to, I mean, you could say that, of course, I was involved. However, I mean, other people were involved. You killed him. I mean, yeah, the call was made by me, but um, as far as the whole incident, uh, I can't. Can finger at I am going to fucking something if I hear any more of this fucking trash talking about this I'm fucking done I'm